Hello, everybody. Hello, VOD channel. Hello, soon to be Twitch chat. Um, it's going to be a couple minutes. I'll leave a timestamp like usual down below whenever we get started. It is day six. We still have one inventory slot, but we have a pretty big goal here today. Did a little bit of research, and I think we're going to get soft locked in the Dawn Guard quest line. Gosh darn, I really want to keep making that manual run back to the castle, but I have a plan today. We got a, we got, we got a plan today, so. And thank you, because this has been suggested like 500 times that we should go for this specific item, but it's probably going to be sir. really hard. <clears throat> Good to see everybody. Your first stream, very wet rocks. Good to see you. Uh, okay, I need to figure this out. All right, I posted this on Twitter like two minutes ago. Two hours ago, somebody followed the channel under the name Max Keeble the Wood Elf. Max Keeble, if you are out there, please, please report to the principal's office immediately. I love it. <laughs> I love it. Good to see everybody. Appreciate y'all. Three sets of ten scrote curls does a man right. Thank you, kind sir. Max Keeble more like ass Keeble, am I right? Okay, all right, Ned, it's unacceptable. Okay? Unacceptable. Apologize right now. Thank you, kind sir. Colson, thank you for the seven months. Ned, appreciate it, even though that was very rude. Thank you for five months. Glorious Havoc, thank you for three months. If I sound a little bit nasally today, it's because I ripped the neti pot not too long ago, and I'm going to be honest, I think there's a gallon of water stuck in my sinuses. I could be wrong, but I just have a weird feeling. I, I, feel, I, I feel like there's something going on right now. Hopefully I'm okay, though. I think I'm going to be all right. Thank you, kind sir. Happy Juve's Day. You sound just as nasally as usual? Okay, well, that's good. That's good. At least you're honest. Some vegan nuggets, just in time. I've had vegan nuggets before. And I'm going to be honest, it's been a while. But from when I had them, I don't think they were that bad. Give me two seconds here, guys. I'm going to get started. I want to kind of get into the game very, very quickly, just because it has been a little bit of a grind. And we have a huge goal we want to try and take out today. We're going to get the Targe of the Blooded. It's been recommended like nine times. I'm finally going to go for it. Sailor Rez, thank you very much for the nine months. Thank you, kind sir. Main quest? I don't know about main quest. I am drafting up the child support paperwork work with my lawyer for our baby Nakuma Von Turkey Stick. She will be here next month. Nakuma Von Turkey Stick. Welcome to the family, Nakuma. Uh, give me one minute here. This is all stuff Thank I should have had set sir. up before the stream. You think someone just happens to sub that long? He orchestrated it. Juve. Thank you, Kyle. Lizard sir. Sister, thank you for the tier two. 18 entire. Hold on, that is a long time. Thank you for supporting the channel for all this time. Thank you, kind sir. Hi, Juve. My grandpa just passed and it's nice to be able to laugh and forget about it thanks to your videos. I appreciate it. Silent Archer, I'm very sorry Thank to hear. You, Hope sir. you're holding up okay. My thoughts to your family. Thank you for watching. Glad we can brighten this spirits a little bit and laugh at dumb, stupid things. Hope you're feeling all right, though. Uh, I'm not really sure how to segue to this one, but Ballsack69, thank you for the four months. <laughs> thank you for the four months. Um, and thank you for ruining a beautiful moment, Ballsack. <laughs> thank you. Or I, I shouldn't say beautiful, somber. Somber moment. Kenny's, thank you for the three months. Tingus Pingus, thank you for the tier one. Thank you for one month. Is this the mine where we or wait, 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 is this the mine where we or the raw material for the VOD channel? I, I guess so. That's a that's a way to put it that that definitely. Uh, 
I guess so. Right? I guess this, the Twitch channel is like a mine where we are harvesting away. But I feel like, nah, I feel like the VODs we, we chip away at and we mine stuff out of them, you know? This is the formulation of the mine. If that makes any sense? I don't know. Juve Jr. Hey, Dad, it's me. Can you please start paying me? Why would I pay you? No. You just showed up here a minute ago. No. <laughs> How do I even know you're real? How do I even know you're mine? No, I can't confirm that. Absolutely not. I got to double check what we were at in terms of our time on the run. Which involves me finding... I can do this, okay? Finding the last recording, clicking on it, opening it up, scrolling to the end. And we're really at 19 hours, 38 minutes. Okay, that's a lot of time. That's all right, I like this run again. Days three and four, I started to maybe eh, fall a little bit off. Like I, I wasn't feeling it as much on days three and four, but day five, ooh, day five was magical. I said on the VOD channel, I said, day five was electric. You know, somebody responded to me and they said, nobody says electric. I do. I do. Okay, that's somebody. Worth every second. Fortnite Stinky Balls Battle Pass. Mm -mm, nope, not getting me. Not laughing. Thank you, kind sir. Stream came at a good time. Ran out of content to watch during my Oz's grind. Oh, your OSRS grind? What are you grinding for right now? Thank you, kind sir. On my current OSRS grind, I am going for the Dragon Defender. I am getting completely screwed on trying to get it. Thank you, I've been at it for sir. like over a week. Still won't drop. Hold on, this part goes hard. I can't believe they made this Thank for a cars you, game. Sir. One inventory slot door randomizer. I don't know if we'll combine them. That could be fun. Out, there are two Did I? Elf sisters who always fight together. So I, I guess I have to briefly talk about this. Did this happen? I think this happened after the last stream, but on the last video upload, you, somebody kind, made sir. a comment and they said, uh, what did they say? They said Skyrim without leaving the water when? And it got like a shit ton of likes really, really quickly when that video came out. So I responded to them and I was like, okay, I'll make you a deal. If your comment gets 2000 likes, we will do Skyrim without leaving the water. You know, we'll put a fun twist on Thank it to try and make it, sir. you know, work. Well, th their comment like completely blew out the prediction I, I laid upon it. So we are going to do it. We'll probably do, uh, well, what I was thinking. Thank you. And this is sir. a few projects off. I like pooping juve. I, I, um, that's good. That's good. You know, bodily functions. You should take care of them. Um, what we'll do for Skyrim without leaving the water. <clears throat> I don't know if, because like the, the thing with our challenges, what's fun is it's almost like we drown ourselves in limitations in order to see which mechanics of the game will float to the top. You know, some of them are more obscure, some of them are common. But with underwater, <clears throat> there's not a ton in Skyrim, right? Like if we did Morrowind, there's a decent amount of underwater content if you went around the map, there's underwater caves, nothing like that in Skyrim. So I thought, what if we brought back a two and a half year old challenge where we played as a slaughterfish? Hmm. There's some quirks to it, and it could be fun. So we would technically be able to leave the water, but not very often. And we would have to perfect the attack style of a slaughterfish. We would have to collect items outside of the water and then return ourselves to the water. We'd have to collect healing potions in order to spend time out of the water. So it could be interesting. 
What about Solstheim? There's a bunch of water. If I could fast travel to Solstheim, I could possibly get there because when you play as a slaughterfish, you still have access to talking to NPCs. But I don't want to do like the standard gameplay, like vanilla Skyrim, just jump in the water and then see if we can play the game without leaving the water because there's not going to be a whole lot that we could really do. I'll catch up on alerts here in a second. I want to get the challenge ready to go. Solstheim is probably the most water content in Skyrim, but it ain't too much. Maybe have an additional rule of being on land loses X amount of HP per second. That is what playing as a slaughterfish would do. We wouldn't lose health in the water. We would be able to fight slaughterfish or the occasional mud crab that is near the water. That wouldn't really make us that much loot. Yeah, we'll have to think about it. It won't be easy. Potion of air breathing. I wonder what that does if it reverses the effect. Thank you, Karen, sir. Hi, Juve. I got the job offer yesterday for my alma mater at school. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, Emily. Everybody, give it up for Emily. This is your victory song, I guess. This oh, wait, you know what you want? Okay, maybe we'll just... Just start dancing for Emily, okay? Congratulations! This is your level up music. All right, there we go. Congratulations, Rob. You only, you only get one. I appreciate that, Emily. Thank you for 22 months. Hope you're doing well. And I hope you crush it at your new job. Check, check. One, two. Game audio on. Recording started. Worth every septum. Fortnite Stinky Balls Battle Pass Booper Duper. Not happening. It's not happening. Not even a giggle. Not even a smirk. I graduate in three months thinking about dropping out. What do you think? What? Why would you? No, no. You're not dropping out of school with three months left. OK, you're going to push through. You're going to finish. You're going to get that goddamn degree. All right. W, thank you for the 200 bits. Change man's house husband. Thank you for the 100 bits. Drop the playlist for your background thank music. You kind, I know for at least the videos, each one of them has uh, a track list, both in the description. Sometimes I'll pin it in the top comment. Unless that top comment is ratioing me and asking to play the game just in the water. Queen Remy, thank you for the 200 bits. Tile, thank you for 16 months. Blue, 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 butt. Good to see you again. Thank you so much for eight months. Tuchankas, I have a meeting to go to, but wanted to say hi before being trapped for two hours. Tuchankas, we will see you after your meeting. Or during. Second monitor us during the meeting. <laughs> Just don't get distracted, though. Rizif, thank you for five months. Chang Ben's house husband, thank you for gifting two subs. Race brother, thank you for the seven months. MPI, thank you for seven months. Emotional support, cool. Th I'm face. catching up here. I gave you the Kurt Angle face. I don't really know. I don't know if I can do it. Maybe it's an eyebrow thing. I do have these like roller coaster shaped eyebrows. Race Brother, thank you for seven months. MPI, thank you for seven months as well. Emotional support, Ghoul, thank you for three months. G Pop, good to see you again. Thank, thank you, you for kind, 11 sir. months. I think I'm all caught up now. Rare footage of me accepting to be put on the second monitor. Hey, I'll settle for second. At this point, yeah, I'll just, I'll take it. Whatever I can get. I'm playing Skyrim, and I have a prettier roads mod, and it's really good, just adds a lot more stuff on the roads, like cool structures, more broken down homes. I really like it. Uh, what's it called? That sounds sweet. Dude Arena, thank you for the two months. Edbed, thank you for four months. <laughs> I've been listening to the Skyrim theme song this whole time. I, I'm, I'm really, really sorry. It's, I... It's been, it's been in the background. I had it open. Sonny, you're not driving your car. Every time you come into chat, you're somehow driving a commercial vehicle or something. Like, hey, I'm in high speed traffic right now. Make sure to say hi to Bingus.
right, let's pick up. Uh, hold on, I have to make sure we get the right save. Ooh, timeout. One second. There is one thing that I have to do. So, we started this challenge off with a death mod that would move us kind of like Minecraft. If we died, it would send us back to our bed. I literally just closed out my game and reopened it and didn't change a fucking thing. Incredible. Incredible how my brain works at times. It just stops functioning. But last stream, the death mod broke. It wasn't working properly. And honestly, the whole experience was just improved, not having to deal with it. It was, it was really, really harsh, the punishments that were happening. So what we're going to do, we're going to keep the gold punishment on death so we're still gonna lose gold when we die i'm gonna reactivate that hot key for paying our taxes so like when we did pay to win every time we die i'll hit it twice we'll lose 10 percent of our gold and then 10 percent again i didn't have time to get it reconfigured so we'll just you know we'll have a little gold punishment every time we die but the whole dying spawning at bed backtracking all the way on foot Especially with just like how difficult some of the content has been. It, it was a little bit much. Just don't die. Thank you, kind sir. I'll try not to. First trimester and I'm already showing. Playing survival for the first time on master difficulty man props to you. I know. It's, you know, I mean, you, you get used to it. It really just depends on how you, you know, go through it. I'll catch up one more time here. CT Hale, thank you for three months. Edbed, appreciate the four months. Thank you. Now, if I hit continue, will I end up in the right save? Oh, I think so. Also, I updated the follower graveyard. Exclamation point rules. If you need an update on how many of our friends we've gotten killed. Last stream, it was just one. My game is now broken. My game is now fixed. Oh, that's right. Okay, I came out here to get a thumbnail picture. So I need to go back. To here. I think we were at Volokar. We ended last stream wrapping up or starting the next quest for Dawn Guard. I believe. I'm not sure, but why does ashes still show up in the mod config? Oh, I guess it doesn't. That's weird. I've never seen that disabling a mod and then it still shows up. Uh, give me one sec. Mod might have to activate. Let's just MCM registered one new menus. God, it's so good being able to predict what the engine is gonna do. Ten percent on death. Death key Y. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, we died a few times last stream with basically no punishment. So let's start this one off. Oh. Uh oh. Hold on, my hotkey isn't working. There it is. I'll pay a few rounds of taxes here. I don't have that much money, so it's not that much of a punishment. Is the vampire weirdness fixed? Honestly, I don't think so. I'm not sure. We're not going to worry too much, though, about the Dawn Guard quest line anymore. I looked into it a bit. It looks like we're going to get soft locked pretty soon here. Also, the game wants us to go chase down Elder Scrolls and whatnot. Master. Of course. Ah, yes, the elder. Thank of you, course, kind sir. Master. Now, if everyone will please be quiet, I must concentrate. I see a vision before me, an image of a great bow. Thank we'll, you, kind I sir. We'll move past Fire this eventually. Bow. Now a voice whispers, saying... South Park Soldier, thank you for the prime. Hannibal, thank you for the prime as well. Leslie Blair, thank you so much for the prime. 
When dragons return to the realm of men, darkness will mingle with light, and the night and the day will be as one. The voice fades and the words begin to shimmer and distort. But wait, there is more here. The secret of the bow's power is written elsewhere. I think there is more to the prophecy, recorded in other scrolls. Yes, I see them now. One contains the ancient secrets of the dragons, and the other speaks of the potency of ancient blood. My vision darkens, and I see no more. To know the complete prophecy, we must have the other two scrolls. That was not... My traitor wife stole one of them away and then disappeared. As for the other, the last That's kind of sick. Heard, it was lost in the bowels she just stole ruin. It seems our work. Stole an elder scroll and then dipped. <laughs> I Oh wait, hold on. Sorry. Timer is back. I can wait a bit. Everybody relax. I just saw the vod of you standing on stream. Are you 54? No. I am uh 511 3 quarters. Which Totally sucks. Is Serana yassified? I feel like everyone in my game is yassified. That's just because of one of the face mods we have. Do you have a moment? I've gotten used to it. Oh, she said we need to talk. That's not good. That moth priest, Dexian. He said we needed two other Elder Scrolls. I think I know where we can start looking. Didn't want that lot getting wind of it. Especially my father. Does Harkin even care about you anymore? You know, I've asked myself the same thing. I hoped that if he saw me, he... but I guess I don't really. F I don't even think he sees me as his daughter anymore. I'm just a means to an end. We need to find my mother, Valerica. She'll definitely know where it is. And if we're lucky, she actually. The last time I saw her, she said that she'd go somewhere. Is she in the Soul Cairn? Somewhere that my father would never search. Other than that, she, but the way she said it, someplace he would never search. It was cryptic, yet she called attention to it. Yeah, maybe your mom didn't trust you. Maybe they both think Serana has an ulterior motive here. That's always a possibility. She was almost as obsessed as my father by the time she shut me in. But I can't worry about that now. We need the scroll, and she's our only lead. Besides, I can't imagine a single place my father would avoid looking. And he's had all this time, too. Any ideas? Wait, that almost makes sense. First guess. I used to help my mother tend a garden in the courtyard. All of the ingredients for our potions came from there. She used to say that my... Oh, absolutely. That is... I don't think we'll actually trip over her. Trust me, I lived here a very... There's an unused inlet on the northern side of the island. An old escape tunnel from the castle exits there. I think that's our way in. Come on, it's just around the side. I, I don't really want to do this right now. I want to go get the Targe of the Blooded. Also, it's freezing outside and I'm going to die. Okay, 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 okay. All right, right there. There you go. There you go. You get one. Okay, we have nothing in our inventory. Uh, and I need, you know what the tough part is? It's hard. This route just sucks. Is it faster for me to get to Dragon's Bridge if I want to go from, you know, we go Ice Water Jetty. You, what I keep doing is taking Ice Water Jetty and heading this way. This route has been miserable. I think in order to get back there faster, we go Ice Water Jetty, hang a Roger, and then we'll be in warmer territory as we work our way to Dragon Bridge. Although, damn, by that point, do we just go to Markarth? I mean, regardless, we have to get to fast travel in some way. We need to go to Dawnstar, and then we need to find Alftand. It's somewhere around here. Uh, I think it's like right here. I think it's right in between Dawnstar and Winterhold. But we got to go to Alftand. Alftand. How the hell you say it? Thank you, kind sir. Hey, Juve. 
gonna have to miss the stream. Thermodynamics class is starting soon. Yeah, thermodynamics sounds awesome, though. So, I mean, that's a good ex Okay, fine, fine. You want to explore the castle? I, re I, re I don't even know if I can do that. You know what? No. Thank you, kind sir. No. Yeah, I'm standing on business today. I disagree. What? You can't just disagree. Okay, well, <laughs> no, I want to move on from this quest. I disagree. That's it. That's all you got to say. I, th I think we should. Okay, how, how do I say this? Thank um, you, kind sir. It's not working out. <laughs> it's, it's not you. It's me. I disagree. Okay, so you think it's you. So you're accepting blame for this breakup. Well, okay. Oh, wait, hold on. New option. You can't get rid of me that easily. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to see the courtyard again. Okay, it, it's a clingy thing, Serana. I have objectives that you really can't comprehend. More important than Elder Scrolls. More important than daddy issues. More important than finding your mother. Okay, I need to find a shield that I can bash people with effectively in combat. Oh, God damn it, the quest marker wants me to go out there, but then the quest marker tells me to come back in here. If I go outside, I'm going to be freezing cold and the sun is going to melt me. Oh, you know what? I never get food while I'm here. Don't get in my way. And I won't. Does the potion of blood restore food? <gasps> Vampires restore 380 points of hunger. Are your arms off? Worth every septum. Now clearly we have proof Juve is a bottom. Thank you, Serena. Hmm. Whoa. It's a bit of a stretch. You're extrapolating a lot of data. Maybe I can find a way. That looks like a trap. Some sort of... Ooh, who are you? Oh, nice. I can just feed on them. Why me? Because you're a strapping fellow with lots of blood. All right, I guess the only way to the courtyard is through the outside. We'll just try and find our way that way. Keep the potions of blood on us. I'm not denying the allegations that I'm a bottom for goth mommy. I, I, well, it, how, how would I even go about that? Put, I'm going to put out an apology video of some kind. You know, I know how to play the ukulele, so. Wait, wait, why, why are there bad guys here? <laughs> Have y'all not checked this portion of the castle? It's fairly close to the entrance. You're saying there's that many hostile entities just outside the castle. Oh, nice. Okay, they have arrows as well. We're really starting off with the combat already. No shield. Ah, but we do have bone spirit. We learned about the effectiveness of this one last time. Let that hit. Shit, okay. One hit? I'll take it. It just moves so slow. Anything at all? Not really. One's got ice spike. Can I hit them with this? Ooh. Hold on, this is actually dangerous. My magicka is very limited. So we gotta go one at a time. Definitely want to kill this archer first. Save up on sprint. If I can get a bone spirit flying that way, that would be clutch. I want to crochet a juve reference. What would do you suggest, juve? Or chat, do you have any suggestions? Uh, no suggestions right now. I'm in a bit of danger. Oh my god, he has so much health. I'm dead. <laughs> Really? Please don't kill me. Oh, I took that one right to the Thank throat. You, kind sir. Okay, was not expecting that at all.
Okay, we need to... We gotta get Serana involved in this fight. Why was that skeleton so strong? I gotta save my stam. Thank you, kind sir. Yeah, just around this bend. So DG, thank you for 11 months. I mean, Salazar, thank you for the tier one as well. Maybe Bone Spirit is really just that good. Thank you, kind sir. I mean, it's not going to one shot every skeleton, will it? But we can step back here and take cover. She's barely doing any dam- Oh. Barely doing any damage to that skeleton. God dang. Yeah, that skeleton is wild. Okay, this is very difficult. I missed. Oh no, we got him. We got him. Okay, we got him stumbling. No crap, he's gonna get too close to me here. Bone Spirit should make this guy stumble, but he's gonna hit me with a little jet stream of frost, which is bad. Unless I can dodge him. Looks like we did. No, we didn't. Still alive. Come on, Serana, keep carrying. She's about to go down, but she did take out one of them at the very least. No, she did not. Oh, Christ, she's down. This is impossible. I need it to somehow be nighttime. I got to have my regen. Why is the f why does the first skeleton go down in one hit? But the second or the second, third and fourth are really tanky. I gotta fall back. Ah, crap. I gotta go back inside and warm up. You know what? Actually, I'm just gonna... I'm gonna reload my save from when we left. Go inside where Thank it's warm. You, Wait sir. three hours. Hi, King. Hope you're doing well. Beanie, hope you're doing well. Thank you very much. I'm feeling good today. I slept in last night. Apparently, uh, quite a few people think that I look very tired, which <laughs> I appreciate the concern. I'll be okay, though. Last part of the series, killing that final boss, Skelly. I got no clue how this is going to go, but we need to get this quest out of the way. I am tired of Serana. Not that you, I got nothing against Serana, but it's just, you know, I'm, I'm ready to have the threat of my potential follower dying again. It's very fun. All right, very good. We got our regen back. Fatigue. We have slowed regen because of fatigue, which is pretty shitty, but we'll try and make do with it as best we can. It's going to be really hard to see these ranged enemies as well. Also, I don't think Serana followed us. All right, one down. The lookout is dead. Looks like Serana's here. That's good. Okay, it looks like I can only fire one at a time. 
Wait, they are the ones resing the skeleton? Serana resisted healing hits. What the hell, Serana? I'm trying to help you. If you're not going to respect a significant part of my build, then I don't need you on my team. Okay, get the skeleton out of here. I really can't heal her. <laughs> that kind of sucks. All right, we'll make it out of this one. It's just going to be kind of a grind. You're not getting... She's already down. And I'm very cold. What is happening? These are skeletons. Okay, let me get stone flush back on. I think my best bet is going to be booking it and getting up there looking for some kind of entrance. It's just too cold outside for me to stand here and go through the whole fight for that long. Oh my fucking god damn. Get in. Thank you, kind sir. We in? We good? Ah, uh, where the hell did you come from? Where'd you come from? Hey, I just asked the same thing. Serena All right, maybe we keep Serana well, around. We're kind of on the same page here. Lose her, otherwise, we are screwed. I don't think Serana can die. At least the, the death system we have for our followers doesn't apply to Serana the same way it applies to all the generic followers we picked up. Oh, nice. Hostile death hounds? On some deck. This would smell just Are they hostile? Yep, they're hostile. All right, what has been the best strategy against these folks? I don't have a shield. Shield has been really good against them, but we don't have that liberty right now. At the very least, we have Serana. Bone Spirit's decent at slowing him down a bit. And it does fairly good damage. If Serana can tank, maybe she doesn't take our healing. But she'll... Oh, God, the dog turned on me. Why? Why? Attack Serana. She's right there. Why do you got to attack me? All I'm doing is punching. Okay, this is really hard. <laughs> this is very, very hard. God damn it. Then I got to come back in here. I got to punch whatever this rat is. It's going to jump scare me. I can't wait while I'm in here either. I need to warm up. Let's get stone flesh. Definitely want to have bone spirit. I think the best route is... <clears throat> Hit him with some bone spirit. Let's let Serana take the front. You come from? We just bone spirit from the back. Yeah. Done. The old water cistern. On some days, this would smell just. Thank you, Karen, sir. Couldn't do it without your bud. Two more. Who's there? <gasps> Why are you attacking me? Feral vampire, not sure what that means. I think they just res to that dog, so that dog's gonna come after me now. Oh god, Serana's literally all on her own. I don't know which dog is mine! That doesn't look like my dog. No? Maybe it was. Okay, Serana handled it. <laughs> Thank you, Serana. Appreciate you, appreciate it. Anything on them? Elven Dagger of Fear, Ring of Minor Destruction. The only thing I'm carrying right now are potions of blood. 
Vampires heal for 80 points of health. That's pretty good. I, have, I think I have to just keep these on me. It's tempting, though, to replace it with the Ring of Destruction just because that's going to sell for a decent amount. I don't have a ton of destruction spells that I'm using. Maybe Flame Cloak. But I'm not huge on Flame Cloak. <coughs> it's trapped. What's it, what's it going to open? Did I dodge it? Ooh. Okay, yeah, we're good. All right, hopefully, can we warm up a little bit? There we go. If I can find a bed in here, that would be nice. I'd like to get some rest, but I just mainly I just want to get through this as quick as we can. Thank you, kind sir. Stiferu, thank you very much for gifting a tier one sub to the community. Very kind of you, appreciate it. This dungeon crawling is sponsored by Stiferu. Weird double barred security measures that my father put in when he got more paranoid. You follow the Who's there? Oh. Okay, these are still the Chad skeletons from outside. Hmm, not quite. Ah, oh, God, why? Why does it always have to be Bone Hound or Death Hound? Whatever it is. Bone Spirit, Death Hound, getting them confused. I'm going. Oh, my God, I fell in the spike trap. I, I thought it was safety down there. You know, I saw a different level and I figured, oh, let me just get off this bridge. I've already screwed it up. That's stupid dungeon. Thank you, Karn, sir. It looked appetizing, you know, going down there. It looked like there was safety. We follow that path around, we can find the other switch. Who's there? Ah, whew, almost got hit. Yo, fuck off, man. Okay, there we go. Boom. All right, one down, one down. Now the dog. Come around the corner, Mr. Puppy. Where is he? <gasps> Are we back? Are we back? We're so back. <laughs> the bear traps are back. Don't like all that noise. Very much dislike all that noise. Okay, there's the dog. Got him. Didn't really do a whole lot of damage, but it got him. Push him back. Let's let Serana tank. Not sure where this death hound thinks it's going. Get up there. Get involved in the fight. You got this, Serana. I'll cheer you on from back here. Wonderful. I hope this quest doesn't have much longer in it. What was that? Why? Oh, this is kind of fucked. Is this where like the dead bodies of all the people that they eat upstairs come to? I thought they were just vampires, you know? Like this? What is that? Serana, I thought we just bit people, you know? Bite them in the neck, maybe a little tickle, blood transfusion, but nothing more than that. This is full-on torture. Oh, shit, that's a huge spider. You got this? Come on, Sariri. Yeah, yeah, she's got this. She's got it. She's doing good damage. She can handle this. I'll just support her from the back with the occasional. Oh, my God. Why did the dog get in the? Why are you attacking me? All right. It was clearly an accident. If I die to this fucking dog, I swear. Oh, 
We're good. That, that was a close call, though. Please die. I hate this quest. I, I really would like to leave. I, I really want to get out of here. I join and he nearly dies. No, 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 I'm good. I'm good. I've only died two, three. I've only died like three times so far. Tower, thank you. Yes, we get some gold back. Okay, I'm not sure why I came back in this room. I don't know what door the lever might have activated. Probably opposite of the side. I hate these dogs. Probably opened up something over here. Oh. No, 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 no. This, if you fall into the spike pit, that's what that's there for. This leads out to the courtyard. Just cut to the door. courtyard? We're getting attacked by gargoyles. I've never been more confident Thank about gargoyles page, attacking us. Oh, no. Well, what's wrong? Is this where we get immersive, sad backstory? This place. Everything's been torn down. The whole place looks, well, dead. It's like we're the first to set foot here in centuries. This used to lead into the castle's great hall. Looks like my father had it sealed up. I used to walk through here after evening meals. It was beautiful once. What's my favorite color? I don't know. This is my mother's garden. It... Do you know how beautiful something can be when it's tended by a master for hundreds of years? She would have hated to see it like this. Wait. Yeah, sounds good. I'm a little chilly. Can we get? In, can we talk about this inside? Maybe around a fireplace. Some of the crests are missing, and the dial is askew. I didn't even know the crests could be removed. Maybe my mother's trying to tell us something. I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. Don't, don't, don't tell me. Don't tell me. I know, I, I know, I can solve the puzzle. Investigate the moon dial, okay. With the moon dial. Well, what time is it now? 1.35 a.m. Midnight feels like a vampire time. I'm not really into astrology, though, so this is kind of difficult. What phase are we in? Waxing crescent? Full crescent? Full moon? What are the phases of the moon called? Put on the cream to avoid a moon burn. You're right, actually. I'm probably burning up right now. Ooh, oh, place missing crest. Do not have the proper crest. One, two, three. I know what's going on here. I'm telling you, there's something strange with the moon dial. So I have to go into this castle and find five separate moon. Oh, 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 th thank God they're just out here. Um, oh, I thought it broke the game for a sec. Please tell me they're all. Do not have the proper cross. Which one is it? There it is. And we need four more. Please tell me they're all in the courtyard and I don't have to go through like nine different dungeons just to get them. I would like to leave here as soon as possible. Half moon crest. Okay, well, if this is 1 a.m., then the half moon would be close to... Ah, all right. Okay. Not doing too bad. 
I know there's somebody out there right now who's like, oh, he's never gonna get this right. No, I don't even need help. I got this. Oh, there's totally one in here. Oh, I'm on fire. Haters and shambles. And on the first guess. Yeah, I know there's something strange, Serana. Do you not see me solving the puzzle? I don't want to go down here. Look, I'm only doing this to get rid of Serana. This is all in an effort so that we can effectively break up and move on. If I complete this quest and I still can't get rid of Serana, I'm just gonna disable her and get get her out of the game. I got no hate in my heart for you, Serana. You're pretty sick. Worth every second. Cheer 1000 use that big boy's brain juve. Ah, Stifero, I appreciate that. I've never even seen this part of Thank you for 1000 bits. I don't know what might be around. Okay, we're definitely getting attacked by those skeletons. See? See? I, I just, I always know when it's gonna happen. Now, please don't be like the Chad outside skeletons. Be like, woo! All right, that's a lot of skeletons. Holy shit. All right, all right, I got this. It's all good. We just keep moving. This one's gonna shoot us. He'll miss. Nice try. Hit the table. Yeah, they have decent health. Oh, he missed! Come on. Somehow. Somehow alive. And with that, send him back. Bone spirit on the way. There you are. I think there's one left. Not bad. I thought we were going to get our asses kicked there. Now we're getting... Okay, now it's the gargoyle. I was waiting for the gargoyle. I still have stone flesh for a couple more seconds. Are they technically undead? I don't think they will be. Where'd you come from? Nah, it doesn't look like it hit it for much. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. I don't want to be in here anymore. Serana, you got this. She just handles it so easily. It's why I love you, but also why we have to get rid of you. I hope you can understand. I have to go out there and be my own warrior or take care of somebody far less capable in battle until they eventually and heartbreakingly die. Two more skellies. Let's just push the offensive. Stun. Push. Ass is kicked. Gamer mode on. Girlfriend soon to be abandoned. Everything is coming up Millhouse. Not quite. Who's there? No, we don't like it. We hate the gargoyles. As long as they attack Serana and not me. Yeah, probably shouldn't do that. Oh, they have such good loot on them. It's so hard to pass them up, but we have to. Worth every septum. Casually gonna have to go into the soul can to break up with your girlfriend. No, no, do we really? Also, spoilers. Come on now. Let that break my heart when I get there. I appreciate it though, thank you. No, don't tell me it's the fucking soul care. <laughs> I don't wanna. <laughs> Surrounded just a tad. No way, I blew it. Hammer's gonna attack me. How did he get the flank on me? Hi. 
See, they're getting tanky. I don't like this. That means they probably do a bit more damage. Let's get healing ready because he's going to hit us. I'm getting zero XP too from this fight. Cause like hand to hand, I don't get much. I probably get a little bit of alteration from the shield, uh, from stone flesh activating. Not a ton. That one's gonna attack. It's definitely waiting for me to pull the chain. Ooh. Ah, God, I knew it. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, that was a good little delay. Stop. Go after Serana. Much bigger threat than me. No, I Serana is... Thank Serana. You, sir. <laughs> Please. Uh, okay, he's okay. Yeah, he still wants to kill me. Where did Serana even go? Help me. Get up there, Sariri. What have you got? There you are. There you go. There you go. Oh my god. She keeps running into this corner, and I'm... Um... That was a good shot. Chen Shen, thank you for the five months. Also, Peanuts, have a great day at work. Dude, I'm really getting sick of all the gargoyles. I'm getting tired of it. I'm, I'm. Damn. I need to get the tower again. Who's there? Even more Skelemen. I haven't had a checkpoint in a while. I'm going to gift myself one. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> as soon as I get the checkpoint, arrow has to hit. No stumble. That's crazy. Is that going to attack me? Yeah, that's the skeleton skeleton. Trying to think of a joke uh, because skeleton skeleton is kind of funny. It's like. Uh... That's a great shot. It's like man's man, but for skeleton culture, you know, he's a man's man. He's big and burly. He's a skeleton skeleton. He's bony and. I don't know. What do bones feel like? Any doctors in chat or cannibals? I'm going to keep pushing forward while we have this gargoyle on our team. Gold. Nice. Where are you going? I've never seen skeletons just wander about like... Who's there? Who do you think? I don't know where Serana is. Okay, that's not Serana. Get that gargoyle up to the front lines. Oh, two. Nice. Beautiful. Yeah. Two gargoyles. Three gargoyles? Who's... I don't know which ones are on my team. Ooh. 
There's four gargoyles now. What is going on? Okay, there goes our gargoyle. This guy's coming in hot. He's pissed. What do we do here? Um, I'm, I really can't do a whole lot. I need to fall back. We can use the table as a good shield. We can also use Serana as a human shield. All right, she doesn't seem to be taking too much damage. One gargoyle down. Do I have any of my vampire powers? Is there any way I can take vampire servant? Not, <laughs> not even close with that shot. Serana seems to be doing a good enough job though of summoning gargoyles. She's at full health, we're good. Uh. Okay. All right, we're good. Now get out of the way. All right, sweet. Sorry, Chad. I had to lock in for a second there. I'm tired of dying in this dungeon. I want to just get through it, get this quest over with, and then move on to more fun, more significant goals. What do we have here? Vampire royal armor. Now hear me out. What do we got here? Magical regen. Oh! <laughs> oh, yeah. That is exactly what we need. At least just in this moment in time. I don't necessarily need the shield right now. Ooh, that is very good. You know what? There's coffins here. <gasps> Let me, can I sleep? Yes. All right, we get our sleep. We have one potion left. That's going to get us our food. Come on. This is going to make us just a little bit more powerful. It's going to make this next section a bit easier. I'm sure of it. Where did the potion go, though? Right here. Glorious. Yes. Big time. Full hunger, full sleep. Magicka regen is going to be through the roof. Just need to figure out how. I can't believe I guessed <laughs> first try. I had a weird feeling right under your nose. That's big time. This quest is so long, Rip. That's okay, that's okay. It's about the journey. And I can probably mostly skip it in post when it comes to the final video. Look at this place. This has to be it. Also, I will say, at the very least. If we do this quest, then I'm very satisfied with the progress we made in the Dawn Guard storyline before we get into our final, whatever our final goals end up being. Fit check? Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, let's check the. Wait a minute. This is just Serana's outfit. But it's obviously something. Let's take a look around. There has to be something here that tells us where she's gone. My mother was meticulous about her research. If we can find her notes, there might be some hints. <laughs> Two besties. I mean, look. I remember she used to keep a small journal. I do think, okay, there is some charm to, you know, two badass vampire sisters separated at birth. Keep searching for her notes. It's actually pretty cool. That's a, it's a sweet concept for, you know, a couple characters. Right? Like a Khajiit vampire. And then the more, you know, traditional human vampire. Okay, that's a pretty cool pairing. Y'all both look stupid. What? I think you're just a hater. I literally think you, that that's just you being a hater. Been watching your YouTube clips. I have got an idea for a new challenge that you will enjoy immensely. The Fallout 4 Frost Iron Man Challenge. Given how much you had fun with these separately, the merging of these two formats will definitely... R Rome, I, I think that... I, I don't know if I would survive until the end of that. I think that would make me wish for a nuclear winter. We just gotta find the notebook. It's gonna be in an obvious place. Like right here. <laughs> Easy. Why did the quest not update? Locate Valerica's journal. Okay, I did. 
Keep searching for her notes. She probably had a journal or something. I had no idea. She had an alchemy set up in her drawer. Looking at the equipment and material, I don't know. Certainly not longevity. Kind of Dexians. Maybe we should try asking at the College of Winter. Not that I. My mother had a bit of a thing for magical constructs. Sorry, Serana. I don't mean to interrupt you all like that. Okay, maybe I actually have to read the journal. Harkins' short-sightedness is becoming a serious. Why? Why would? Why would the mom talk like that? <laughs> Harkins' short-sightedness is becoming a serious problem. I've warned him time and time again that his foolish prophecy would cast far too much light on our people, and yet he refuses to do as much as listen to a word I say. I've become less a wife and more an annoyance in his eyes. Devoting attention to my work is the only solace I can find while enduring his ridiculous crusade. This is the next day, 28th of last seed. I've had a breakthrough today. I was able to attune the portal vessel to the soul cairn properly. Oh, soul cairn. See, if you didn't spoil it earlier, I would have read that line and been shocked. Properly by using small sample of ingredients. Uh-oh. This might soft lock us. Although the portal opened only for a few seconds, I'm confident that with the proper formula, it can be sustained indefinitely. I feel like I'm missing a key ingredient. Something of sufficient potency that can resist the forces trying to prevent my intrusion. Communing with the ideal masters has provided worth has proved worthless. They speak in riddles and offer no assistance whether I ensure them a steady supply of souls or not. If I'm to escape Harkin's clutches, I need to keep the portal open long enough to carry me away from here, forever if need be. Third of Hearthfire, several days later. I've done it. After wasting thousands of gold coins on components, I've discovered how to sustain the portal. I'm listing the components below. Thank you for finally getting to the point here without proper, without the proper amounts for my own protection. As a secondary precaution, I'm combining my own blood into the formula, which should prevent anyone from being able to duplicate it and follow me into the soul cairn. False, I have your daughter with me. The formula consists of finely ground bone meal, purified void salt, soul gem shards, Using the proper measurements, place the above in the silver-lined portal vessel and add blood as a reactive agent. I will make my way into the soul cairn tomorrow after I gather my things and prepare for a potentially lengthy exile. More importantly, I must enact my plans with Serana and get her to Dim Hollow Crypt as soon as possible. So am I supposed to just, like, add this to my inventory? Oh. Yeah, that's literally all I had to do was pretend to add it to my inventory, and then we were good. Any luck yet? You did? Let me see them. I only know what she told. She had a theory about soul gems. That this the soul can. My mother spent a lot of time. That sir, if I'm reading this right, there's a handful. Of, oh. Sorry, Serana. We got to get this moving. We're also going to need a sample. Hmm. Anyway, enough of that. Oh, definitely. Mother would have plenty of those materials in her laboratory. We just need to find them. Uh, all right. Yeah, no, I think this is where we get completely soft locked. Soul, soul gem shards. What it, what it, yeah, we got soul gem shards. If there's some kind of receptacle that I have to place them in, we possibly can continue. I need to figure out where they get added. Somebody said you can add them. Is this the bowl? Hold on, I'm not losing this armor. Middle of room. I can do this. I need a torch again. It's hard to see. I feel like I can take that. Hold on. It considers the... Okay, hold on, hold on. Give me one second. <clears throat> it considers the quest little thing complete having trouble finding those ingredients now we need the void salts having trouble finding those ingredients no no i'm fine i i will find them okay i'm not gonna pull over and ask somebody we'll just we'll be good
The balcony? Uh, I'm not seeing any freshly ground void salts out here. The indoor balcony has the bowl you put ingredients. Yeah, whatever. Shh. <clears throat> uh, mm, it's not taking them. We might be fucked. Unless there's a specific order that they have to go into the bowl. Uh-oh. Having trouble finding those ingredients? Okay, this is the perfect opportunity. She's gonna think that we've gone on a quest to find the ingredients. We avoid the soul cairn. However, I gotta find a way off this castle from here. <laughs> Can I survive? Can I somehow get down there? All right, new challenge. I will Thank get down kind, and escape the castle, leaving Serana behind forever. Yes, this is perfect. This is how we got to do it. I don't know if I can survive that jump, though. Wait a minute. I'm not leaving that armor behind. No, no, no. Armor comes with. Best of luck, Serana. Serana, it has been a pleasure joining your family. It's kind of sucked also at the same time. I have more important things to take care of, though. Now, it doesn't look like there's any geometry for us to get caught on on the way down. The only thing I can think of is we take off our armor and we somehow collide with the armor on the way down. I think we can survive the drop to right here if I somehow land on the armor on the way down. This is going to be really stupid, so I will be saving my game here. Oh, man. <laughs> I about just lost the armor. Worth every septum. Aim for the bushes. Like Assassin's Creed. I've learned everything I know from Altair ibn Lahad. Okay. That was embarrassing. <laughs> that was fucking embarrassing. Does Vampire Lord still take fall damage? Okay, maybe Vampire Lord doesn't take fall damage, but I gotta be honest, this Vampire looks like a- Vampire Lord ability, please. I, I, I know, maybe, maybe, but this also would be really fun if we pulled off this. <clears throat> Close. Okay, all right, now. I know that you all have a gamble going on right now, and somebody out there is going to freak out if this costs them, but hear me out. We almost had it there. Oh, I know where we got to go. Okay, okay. Like we did, we landed on the armor, and it did stop our fall. If I'm able to drop the armor, bounce off the armor and hit that little that little thing right there, we got an we got an opportunity here. No, no. No! God, it was so close. <laughs> We're getting it. It's happening. Okay, let's just put the armor on. I'm not going to try to bounce off the armor. I can make this jump. There's an invisible wall in the way. I'm not locked in. What do you mean I'm not locked in? I take offense to that accusation. Okay, maybe we do need the armor. Oh. 
Oh, now the armor shows up. You don't have to Mission Impossible escape this. I don't care. I want to. I want to make a cool little jump here. Let me have it. It's going to be so funny when somebody pops in and is like, how did the deaths get to 45? You can go all the way back out the way you came in. Okay, please. Please, let me, let me do some scientific discovery here. That was very close. That was very, very close. All I have to do is time it right. If we land on the armor at the halfway point, because right there, the fall damage from the armor is what killed us. Our legs hit the armor and then we died. <clears throat> that little ledge makes it a bit awkward. I don't care how many times I die, I'm going for this. Use the cape on the armor to glide away to victory. That's a good idea. I should be able to hold the armor above my head and use it like, uh, like something in Zelda. It, if I leave, it goes too quickly. Like, if I run off the ledge, the armor will... Th it throws it out in front of me if I walk off the ledge. I need a more... Like, I need to be able to drop and really quickly transfer to... What the hell? Fuck! Come on! I got this! I got this! I'm gonna lock in! Can you hold it down and crouch on the wall? Uh, you know what? Actually, crouching might be helpful. It might let the armor be a little bit closer to us. You son of a f... What if it... Can I just survive this? No, not quite. Why are we jumping off the balcony? To escape the castle. For no reason. Other than uh, personal accolade. And because I want to. Yeah, there's no point. There's no point to that one. I have to let go of the armor before I run off. But I need to make sure that I can land on the armor before it reaches terminal velocity and kills me. you <laughs> count it as a death fuck yeah i'm gonna get this i'm stubborn it is stupid it is nonsensical i do not care drop crouch grab jump why would you... What? Alright, you're getting on my nerves. It's time to lock in. I'll give myself five more tries. What is that? Bloody tankard. Now that won't help. So many invisible walls on this castle trying to prevent my escape. They don't want to see me succeed. You know what? Armor goes on this time. I'm not playing with the armor anymore. Unless. Damn it, my magicka won't regen while I'm outside.
That was a good try, though. So it is possible that we could telekinesis grab the armor, pull it underneath our legs, catch ourselves, and make the landing. Switch into Vampire Lord mode. Look, look, guys, guys, guys. I appreciate the suggestions of the easy way out, but those aren't nearly as cool. This is about, this is not about functionality. This is about cool factor. <laughs> it's, it may be stupid, but if it's cool, that's all that matters. Uh, oh, we, we, okay, so we bounced off at that time. We just happened to bounce off of it too high up, which means the rest of the fall is what killed us. In order for this to work, we have to catch it somewhere. No, doesn't count. Doesn't count. <laughs> no, it doesn't count. We have to catch it somewhere in the middle. If, if we get it in the middle. This is going to be legendary. Oh, man. Come on. I feel like I, I overshot it with my momentum going off the ledge there, but I feel like our timing was actually decent. This is most likely the dumbest thing you've tried doing in Skyrim. The dumbest thing I've tried doing in Skyrim so far. It's just so hard to catch it. It's very unpredictable. Thank you, kind sir. No! Okay, that was it. That was it. That was the best we were going to do. That was absolutely the best shot we had at it. I think we we landed that one pretty, perfect, uh, pretty perfectly. <clears throat> no. Nope. All right, I'm giving up on it. Yeah, that was that was as good as it gets. That was a good effort, though. You can do it. I don't think we can. I mean, all right, fine, fine, fine. Maybe maybe it works here because it, there's less height here. This is in general just a safer location. So we can try this corner. Like this, this corner is a little bit lower. It looks like there's less room to drop here. Invisible wall just slightly to our right. So let's drop here. We land. Oh, we landed twice. We could have landed twice. Oh, we're back. We can do this. We are back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was going to give up. You can't give me hope like that and then expect me to quit. No, no, no. Not at all. We're gonna get this. Just need to... No, no. Come on, there we go, there we go. This one works, this one works. Give me the uh, Octodad remix. Land, land. <laughs> Woo! Woo! Give me my armor back. How many tries did that take? I knew we would do it. I'm free. Okay, hold on. Hold on. We have a problem here. I'm going to freeze to death very soon. <laughs> very far away. We got to get to the castle, which means it's a right turn. Okay, we got to try and do this without freezing to death. Also, it's in the middle of the day, which means we have limited magic, limited healing, limited stamina.
Oh my gosh, it worked. I don't want to get in the water here. I might have to though. Quick little dip. Yeah, yeah, let's keep moving here. You know what I think happened? If we went back and we did that kind of in slow motion and we broke it down, I think the invisible wall to our right, I think that that helped line up the armor underneath us as we fell. Thank you, kind Because if sir. you go back and you watch the other tries in slow motion, the armor's gonna go flying after we touch it or, or it won't be very predictable. But having the invisible wall kind of guide it so it didn't pull up awkwardly, it went down in a straight line. SMH clearly cheated with God mode SMH SMH. I was wondering, have you ever tried Dungeons and Dragons? Well, he can't come in here with accusations and then ask if I've ever. <laughs> Whoa! I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating it is. I'll tell you what, it feels I'm good. Feels very I'm good to complete arbitrary, Shame nonsensical you, things like that. Mark. Especially because I could feel the haters. There, there was, there was palpable. Why are we doing this right now? Why are we going after this? This is so stupid. Feels good. You know why we do it? Because completing it. That's why. You know what? It was very similar I'm to when we got on the bridge. Do you remember when we spent over an hour trying to get on that bridge in Fallout 4 without leaving the road? That's what it reminded me of there. Stickman, thank you very much for gifting five to the channel. Very kind of you. Green Bear, thank you for the prime. Queen Remy, appreciate it. Thank you for the bits. Have I ever tried Dungeons and Dragons? I have never played tabletop D&D. &D. I would love to at some point. Titty leads. Thank you for the tier one. There's another Max Keeble account somewhere in there. Uh, Derrico, thank you for the 150 bits. Uh, Vampire Lord ability, please. Show to you. Spaz, thank you for the thousand bits. Very kind of you. Randu, thank you for the prime. Think I'm caught back up. Chessy Chen, I think I might have said that one earlier, but thank you for the five months. Spaz, thank you again. That was very kind of you. Stifferoo, appreciate it. Sir, quick trip. Where? Whoa, 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 whoa. What did we... You've been here for three months? You have Quick Trip in your name? That is incredible. Worth every Unless second. you change your that username. That was Epic King. Take my bits. Oh, stop. You're too kind. Greetings from Germany land. I finally made it onto one of your streams. Jacob, good to see you. you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Man. <laughs> Talk about, talk about ego after completing the play. I'm a god. I'm a god for doing the dumbest thing in game ever. Uh, Will Waffle, thank you for the prime. I think I'm all caught up a USB device. Thank you for the 13. I'm sorry. I missed quite a lot of these when we went through that quest. Kindly Karma, thank you for the 14 months. Stefferoo, thank you for gifting one. Mad Winks, thank you for the prime. I missed way too many of these. Apologies. Big D Swangin', thank you for the prime. DG, thank you for 11 months. Uh, and Beanie. Thank you for four months. I think I'm caught up now. Appreciate y'all. Now, I mean, honestly, it's just a fun, it's fun to kind of experiment like that, or, you know, use the game's mechanics in the limited way that we have it, right? I mentioned literally at the beginning of this stream, what I like about doing these challenges is, you Thank know, you we drown ourselves in the waters of limitation in the hopes that obscure mechanics can rise and float to the top and break the plane of the surface of that water. Don't worry about it, Marby. Yes, it was. Yes, it absolutely was, 100%. Yeah, not denying that. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? What a grand Stop making me dance. Innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you. Or at least stop making me. <laughs> stop making me feel obligated to do a little. Uh, uh, uh. We did that after our in game, hyper impressive gaming achievement. Now, let's get moving. We've got another goal to get to. Ink Demon, thank you for gifting five to the channel. Hot Anime Moms, thank you for the Prime. Oh and, mm, How can you kill a god? What a grand and intoxicating innocence. I'm a god. How can you kill a god? Shame on you, sweet Sarah 
Citrus are superior? Absolutely not. Uh, Spads, thank you for gifting five. Appreciate it. Thank you all. Uh, genuinely, it means so much. You all are wonderful. Quarineer, thank you. You gifted five as well? Is it going to play the alert again? <laughs> Is it going to go through? I might have missed that one. Uh, Green Bear, thank you for the prime. And uh, I think we're caught up now. But I appreciate y'all. Genuinely, thank you. Now, onward to the task at hand. What we need to do, since we are now abandoning the Dawn Guard. Step one. Take the ice water jetty across. Land in territory thank here. You, kind sir. In the cold territory. Playing Bethesda games while watching you is my fave thing. Oh, thank you. Redford, I appreciate that. Thank you for four months. Max Keeble, the human! Another Max Keeble. Thank, you, thank you for gifting sir. one to the channel. All right, we're going to take the boat across. Icewater Jetty. Land here. Hang a Roger. Go around the corner. Land into some better weather than taking this absolutely fucked route back to society. We get up to Solitude. We take this. We land in Dawnstar, or we have to We have to get a new companion. We have to get a new follower somewhere. Not sure where we get them. Once we land in Dawnstar, you, kind, head through the Tundra. The Tundra. Try to find our way to Alt-Tand, Alt-Fand, whatever it's called. Because we need to get the Targe of the Blooded. It's the shield that deals bleed damage. It's going to be crucial for this build. Let's go for it. Devante, thank you for the Prime. Orlando, appreciate it. Godlike gaming? That, that it is. Not really. To be honest. So is Serana still counted as an active companion or no? Uh, I have no clue. We'll find out. Worth every scepter. I'm sure you've talked about it at some point, but how do you feel about Starfield now that it's been over six months? I'm genuinely so over the Starfield discourse. Not gonna lie. Um, but fine, I was playing it the other day. Not where I really wanted to be for doing Thank content. You, time, sir. But still looking forward to whenever the creation kit comes out, seeing what people can do with it. And then we'll follow up with it. But I am, but I, I'm genuinely exhausted and just so bored of Starfield discourse. I'm, I'm just going back to the other way. Doesn't look like there's a path through here. Question, is my Magicka able to regen right now because I drank the Potion of Blood earlier? When will you drop the gold for all the deaths? There. <laughs> there. You know what? Fine. I'll just uh, player dot remove item F5. There, there. We'll just get rid of all my gold. All right. All the deaths there, I'll pay for them. I didn't have a ton of gold, but I will pay for that. Oh, it's the robes. Honestly, that could save us, except, of course, now we're running into. Now we're running into an ice storm. Wonderful. Why? Where did you even come from? Come on, rocks, save me. 
Is that the same snow bear from before? Ooh, this might be... Oh, are we cooking up a route here? After five times painstakingly getting through this section of the game... Oh my god, we're already back to dying. Come on, come on, get me through the crack! Nah! Come on! Mmm, this... Damn it, we were cooking up a route there for like a half a second, and now the route's dead. I hate it. I hate this section of the map! Alright, I'll pop my head in here and warm up. Does Flame Cloak warm you? No, not the times I've used it. Air is warm here. Wonderful. Wait for an hour. Alright, I'm a wee bit hungry, but I think this road... Oh, sweet! This is gonna cut through. Okay, this is the route we should have been taking before. The original route through that area was disastrous. Although I think I've been attacked in this area. Now, east of Solitude, we get some money. Uh, who should we take as our next follower? Anyone have any ideas? Followers that are unavailable. Feindal. Sven. Whatever is attacking me. I would not consider them a follower. Lydia. Dead. S Serana. Gone. Janassa. Dead. Belrand. Idiot. Belrand got himself killed within five minutes of meeting him. If we were going to tier list the followers, he's in last place. Benor. Don't remind me. Do you, I'm not going to fix my relationship with Mercurio. Also, I need another 500 gold. Eric the Slayer? Don't we have to do Eric the Slayer's quest? Console Commando Rando is a follower. Are you sh I'm stuck. Dude, <laughs> come on. Ah. Ah, this fucking game. That about killed me. I almost missed the soft landing. Why did my shield... Oh, it deactivated. Okay, I thought my shield went up like I was about to be in combat. I trust you're not planning any trouble. Okay, let's fast travel. What can I do for you? Someone do something! Ooh, ice cold teleport. Cheating. Okay, I, I, am I gonna get crap for toggle clipping there? Come on now. What is it? Don't like those eyes you got. You know what? There's a decent little crowd here. Six people. Let's play a naked concert. Oh, the Executioner is really loving this. He has a harsh life. He cuts off a lot of heads. He's got to, you know, he's got to have some hobbies. Is this permadeath? Where did you learn to make bows so well? The same place I learned my charm and quick wits. I used to be an Imperial Ranger, my boy. I don't think so, no. <laughs> no, not quite. You'd make a better Imperial Ranger Where are your robes? Did they take your robes when they gave you the prison racks? Oh, you're right. When they gave me the prison rags, I lost my armor. Does that mean my armor... Oh, it's right here. 
I wonder why it drops there. Also, Spads, I appreciate that. Thank you very much. What do we get for gold? 74? That's enough to get us to Dawnstar. Being old's not so bad. Are there any followers in Dawnstar? My working days are done. The headsman will also be a follower if you drop armor slash weapons in front of him and he has to take it. Wait, really? Damn, I don't know if we'll be able to catch the headsman in time. Never mind, there he is. Yeah. Need something. Aye. Depends on what you mean by traveler. Aye. I'm the headsman here in solitude. It's my job. Oh my god, I'm trying to ask him. Yeah. Ain't got filthy Argonia never would have set foot in this city if High King Torig was still alive. I can tell you that. Is he talking about the Argonian so, right next to him? Look the Just watch yourself. Ain't got one. Oh, he is. Yeah, he's talking about Jari Ra right in front of him. How much he'd love to execute him. All right, I like your style. Let's drop this. Until next time. Throwing their trash where I keep my eyes open. Damn dragons could swoop down at any time. All right then. You stay out of trouble now. The Castle Dower Dungeon can break even the strongest will. Let's try... I wonder how we get this to access. I know for a fact... I've, I've seen him do it with a sword. Until next time. Thank you, Tom, sir. Oh. I thought for some reason I'd be able to take those. Why is everyone... Why are they all... I don't know where he's trying to get to. But his brain is not working properly right now. If he has some kind of a task... Yeah. Oh, piss off. Okay, now he's finally moving. If you're looking for opportunities to make some coin. Well, you man. I don't know what the hell's going on with him. TK Squid, thank you for the 10 months. He does seem very enamored by the armor. Come on. I know you like it. You left this over there. You want it back, right? Here. Close. Not exactly the dialogue. You stay out of trouble now. The Castle Dower Dungeon can break even the strongest will. Your skin is pale as Three followers at the College of Winterhold. Yeah, but how much College of Winterhold content do I have to complete? There's one you can hire in the Winking Skeever. Nope, they're dead. No, nah, Balrin's dead. Sarthal? Yeah, I'm not doing Sarthal. Any mods or styles you can recommend to freshen things up? Thanks. Uh, no trading. Beat the shit out of the dude at Markarth Tavern. Is there a boxing match at Markarth? Being old's not so bad. Fist fight lady in white red. Nope, she's dead. And my working days are done. <clears throat> Kosnak and Markarth. Ah, yet another new face. I'm from Hammerfell, you see. I can hardly keep winner. track. Who's this guy? Dorian. That sounds like a follower name. Welcome to the center of the world, or at least my brother Eric's world.
Janasa's dead. People keep naming followers that are dead. If you want to look, take a look at the followers we have that are dead, exclamation yeah. point rules. At the bottom of the slideshow is the uh, follower graveyard. <clears throat> I would prefer... Not if it's if it is a quest tied follower, they are likely very essential. Cicero, Ayla, Farkas. That don't make me too old to drink. My father was all the family I ever had. I felt so lost when he died. But the crew of the Red Waves. Rufus. All right, Rufus is not a bad suggestion. She struck an iceberg and went down just. I kind of like the idea of Eric the Slayer. Is Croc still being? I have no idea where Croc even is in my game. You need gold for Eric? I have 74 gold. Just pay for Eric's. Oh, you don't even have to do a quest for him? I hear a dragon. Oh. Okay, really? Maybe they'll all be distracted by the dragon and I can... Oh, wait! If this dragon's gonna attack, this is a big opportunity. They always give us a good amount of gold. That's the thing they've been best for. Okay, I don't really want a bounty, but I'm gonna take it. Appreciate the horse. Catch you later. <laughs> He's hiding out. It's like hiding in the corner just because it took a little horse. Rorik said it's kind of a haul. If you sell Ketri a potato, she'll let you borrow the horse for... Oh, really? Yeah, I'm a little bit concerned about this dragon. That dragon's coming after me. Did it just land behind me? Yo, yo, y'all might not want to walk this way. Oh, there's the dragon. Oh, wait, there's the bear. Remember that bet that I lost with you all last stream? I said there'd be a bear there. Now the bear's there. Why attack my horse? Damn, I wish we got that dragon to follow us. Because you... Oh, that's right! I spawned it in. Appreciate the call out. Uh, I was thinking... Damn, I was thinking that uh, Dragon's Bridge was Rorik's dead. It's not. It's honestly quite a journey. What about Mjol? Oh, yeah, we could do Stenvar. Stupid Mercurio. I've given Mercurio like a thousand gold in alimony. Gorbosh? Eh, this isn't that far. We'll get there eventually. There's a pretty big bandit camp right up in front of me that I'll have to watch out for. I'll save my sprint.
Darkethus. Now we're going Eric. We're going Eric the Slayer. I feel like Eric the Slayer dying is going to be very tragic. I think I need to take this route. It's a little bit hard to see. Uh-oh. Ooh, we are sitting ducks. Worth every septum. Timer. Yeah, we're getting close. Uh, timer break. Spads, I appreciate that. Thank you. That's, that's a whole, that's a, that's a lot of bits. I appreciate it. Uh, does anybody remember what time it was at? Was it at like 21 hours? What was the time it had when it broke? I should have taken note of that and I completely forgot. How the fuck have we been live for almost two hours? We've gotten nothing done. <laughs> Literally. 2108? God, this is why this challenge is taking forever. Uh, can I get around this mountain here? I'm ditching the horse. Getting around the map has been quite the burden on this challenge, much more so than others. Although now that we're done with the castle, finally, it'll be a bit easier. It'll, it'll lighten up just a little bit. That castle, though, holy crap. Obnoxious. I'm just so happy to be done with that portion of the map. feels like the different like breakthroughs or little milestones that we've hit for this challenge they've been very satisfying and fun to hit but also good lord they've taken quite some time to get to i have a weird feeling i'm gonna get hit by a saber cat here Right before I get to Rorik's dead, Sabercat's gonna take me out. Thank you, kind sir. Always fun watching the content you put out, man. Keep on keeping on, man. What's that noise? Ah, that, I see, I knew it. It's always Sabercat. Kind of pisses me off I don't get any restoration XP for refilling my stamina. Like, it feels like I'm getting, you know, feels like I'm getting the short end of the stick. My stamina bar gets all the love, my XP bar gets none. All good, made it to town. Let's go get some free food. 
from the neighbors right across the street. Take care of Eric Her in the morning. Eric, not Eric Her. I don't know who Regner is, but... Is he really not home? The one free unlock I get with my perk. Struck out. I can still buy food from the inn. That ain't too bad. Ooh, free food in here? No. Free bedroll, though. I don't have to pay for rent. For the thirsty, food for the hungry. Meat pie is huge. See? Huge. Wow. Meat pie. How am I still tired? Fatigue. Drained. Suck my vampiric balls. That fool son of mine, Eric, wants to be an adventurer. Good natured lad, but he's got oh, what's up, Tauscar? Really I don't know if I've ever seen Tauscar at an inn. Yeah, I'm not paying any more for food. We're just gonna steal some. Okay, all right. Now? They have extra security here for their salmon steaks. Sleeping outside leaves you drained? Of course it does. I was gonna say, I, I feel like it's because I slept outside. Sure thing. I'll show you to your No, you won't. Until next time. Alright, let's see what Eric needs. I am ready to get this adventure back on the road. It is a lot harder to just randomly get followers than I thought. I, I mean, granted, I've killed quite a few of the easy ones. My father, Ralkin, manages the inn. You, you look like you've seen your share of adventure. I envy you that. I want to be an adventurer like you. My father says I can't. Don't worry, Eric. I'll show you some adventure. Stay here and work the farm. And even if he did let me be an adventurer, we couldn't afford to buy armor. His name is Ralkin, and he's the innkeeper here. I hope you could change. Thank you. I can't stand the thought of being trapped in this village for the rest of my days. I hope you could change my father's mind. All right, let's talk to his dad. You will let your son go on a dangerous adventure for me. I'll take good care of him. You can trust me, Moralki. I'll look after your son, Eric, with the utmost protection, respect. If you need a meal or room, I've got both. My son, Eric, what about him? Eric. Did something happen My son, right Eric. Every septum. When he dies, there better be a funeral for him. Uh, well, I mean, we'll have a funeral. We've had a little funeral for each person. Your days of exploiting your son are over. Exploit him? What's that supposed to mean? Eric works the farm because he's a good lad. No, it's because you... I'm forcing him to stay here. I know that he wants a life of adventure. But I've told him before that I can't afford to buy him armor. Oh, but you can afford to pay for multiple workers? An inn that's constructed sturdily? That has survived both the war and the farms? I, I feel like you have a pretty good amount of money. All right, 259 gold, or we pass the persuasion check. I got a good feeling about the persuasion check. I, I cannot deny the truth of what you say. Eric is all the family that I have left. Boom! It's wrong to hold him back as I have. Don't tell Eric that I've changed my mind. I'll see about borrowing some money in White Room for his armor. Why do you need to borrow money? 250 gold. It's not that much. Eric and I are about to go make that hand over fist immediately. 
Honestly, based on adventuring with me, I think it's worth the risk. If he can't even afford a simple suit of armor, then send your son off with me. He'll make way more money than here at the farm. Did you have any luck talking to my father? Yep. You're welcome on aboard, kid. I can't thank you enough, friend. I hope you'll come back to Warwickstead soon and pay me a visit. Maybe we can swap stories about our adventures over a mug of ale at the inn. Or Until next time. you go from being exploited by your father to joining me not to be exploited. We will not be exploiting Eric. We will be showing him the ropes about adventure. Welcome. Let me know if you want. I think I got a clean mug around here somewhere. Okay, let's take the bed. 24 hours. Do your son be careful. Yeah. Need something. Oh, did you need something? Uh, maybe... Do I have to leave and then come back? Eric needs to go through puberty before adventuring. Alright, well, uh... We'll, we'll, get out of, we'll get out of town and let Eric mature a little bit. There's probably an easy dungeon or something nearby. It's not a lot of money for you because you haven't done an honest day's work in your life. Uh, all I have done is honest work. I worked for the vampires. All right, we had some contract disputes. They wanted me to do things I physically wasn't able to, and we broke it off. I can fight a ghost, right? Thank you, kind uh, uh, I maybe. No, not. I wonder where I should go. What's the fastest place to just waste some time? Holy lag audio. Oh, audio. Appreciate it. Thank you, AJ. Thank you for the bits. Very kind of you. A lot of those today. Very much. Thank you. Yeah, in order to fix that, I just have to stop the recording and then begin the recording again. Ow. Let's... It's just a couple wolves. Damn, they go down quick now. I think this cave is closest. Red Ron's retreat. Is that it? Am I the only one that hates Serana? Are you looking to get uh, several chatters really upset? No rock joint. Nice, no rock joint. We can clear Red Ron's retreat, get a little bit of XP, probably not a ton. This also is gonna count as a bounty. Ah! I can get out of this. I can get out of this. Holy shit, that scared me though. Ooh, all right, all right, I gotta give it to you there. That was good. We have unrelenting force, so we can slow it down a little bit. We need fast healing in both hands. Slow down the cat there. Come on, come on, he's gonna be getting real close. Rocks, get the rocks in his way. Throw rocks in front of him. Double check. Woo! 
More rocks. More rocks. Drop down. We buy some time. Get in the cave. Got him. Got him. They're going to kill each other on the outside. Bandit and Sabercat, they're fighting. We are in. We have safety. But it's Swindler's Den, not Red Ren's Retreat. This could be a difficult dungeon. Let's see what we can do. Immediately getting hit with an Orcish two-handed. That's fun. Outlaw Warrior? Where do you get off? We still have Stone Flush. That's good. I am going to have to use uh, Flame Cloak, though. Let's throw that bad boy on. Make him miss. Yeah. That's how a true North fights. Yeah, I had a feeling that would one tap. Two handed orcish. I don't stand a chance there. That's a lot of health. I'm stuck. Looks like I can tap him with this on the other side of this pole. Oh, that was close. One down. And I can take nothing. I also can't sleep in here. Although, why don't we just pop back outside? Let's see what transpired between the Sabercat and the Bandit. I am on the side of the Bandit for all of 2.2 seconds. That was a dumb idea. That was very stupid. Get inside. Oh my god damn it. How do I always do this? Stuck between a rock and a hard place. I go this way. I get fucked by bandits. I go that way. I get double fucked by wolf and saber cat. I should have taken that opportunity when they were fighting to just run away. Now, if I go out there, I have the loading screen disadvantage. That's going to do some damage to me. I have to go out that exit anyway. Even if I kill everybody in this dungeon, I got to go out that exit right there. However, I could probably find some food in here, sleep in here, pass some time. We go back to Rorikstead. We get Eric. We go get the uh, Targe of the Blooded. Oh, there's a bed right here. I don't even have to clear the dungeon. Oh, that's wonderful. I have potatoes I can eat. I have sack I can eat out of. Not a whole lot of loot or anything. Let's see what we got in this chest. Give me some money. Ooh, what is that? Scroll of the Spectral Warband. Manifest illusions of all allies in combat. Hey, I don't you. have any allies. Thank you for always making me laugh and smile. VOD channel rules. Sir, how, how would you say that? Sir Pars, Parziel? Sir Parziel? Thank you very much. Thank you for watching. What do we got here? Bounded and bandit? Okay, yeah. Two-handed bandit outlaw warrior. This guy has steel instead. <laughs> okay, we can do minimal damage there. But we did get a level up. I don't stand a chance. Possibly they could follow me outside and attack the... Oh, this is risky. I could get them to follow me outside and attack the saber cat? Is that a stupid idea? You think you can take me? Maybe I just hang out on the pole here. Okay, you gotta chill with the power attacks. Just take your flame damage. Stay on the pole. Ow. Archer cheating, cowardice.
steel shot. Okay, they do do pretty good damage. That was a good play. One hit. Nice. He's going to go down to a knee very soon here. Woo! No! You got the power attack in. Is the arrow going to hit me? He's going down to a knee so he can take cover on the pole again. That was really close. Whew. Still alive. Come on now. Stumble a bit. What do you mean? Did you say how or why? The answer of why is clear. How? Power of the gods. Main character stuff. You wouldn't understand. You're a footnote in my story, okay? Ah, do we try it? Let's try it. We're going to immediately get our... Uh, let's try it. I'm going to get attacked out of the loading screen. He missed? Somehow Sabercat missed. A little bit of separation here. Oh, I don't like this. Get me up on the rock. We can buy some time if we're up here. Go, buy a little bit of time. Sabercat charges in. Stumbles. And take a bow. All right, we've got our exit clear. We just had to figure out <laughs> figure out that equation real quick, but we got through. So like these little fights, that's where this challenge really, really shines. And I know somebody might be thinking that Vampire Lord would be significantly easier. And I get that. I understand. That just isn't that exciting for me. We're going to go health again. I gotta improve my odds of not getting one shot as much as possible. Do we save the perk? I haven't leveled up in what feels like forever. I have a lot of restoration. I have wasted a lot of perk points in here that I don't use. First war, don't need it. In combat, the warrior's flame periodically touches a random target. I'm not sure what that is. Not interested. I mean, we are going to be going for a shield here. It is possible. Where's light armor? We could dive into light armor. You have to get light armor to 20. Which is really hard to do. If I'm able to level up again and get light armor to 20, I can at the very least get a buff to my unarmed damage. Which is 5% of your current stamina. So we would get a 5, 8-ish percent buff to our unarmed. Maybe we invest the next couple levels into stamina to get more hand-to-hand -hand damage. But getting light armor to 20 is going to be hard. However, it's almost at 18. I really wish I could feed on these dead bodies. I'm going to poke my head through this dungeon because I think they have some food. Next room's a bit difficult, though. Healing potion would be kind of nice, but no, I, I need to take some damage. It shouldn't be too hard just by taking damage to get it to 20. After that, though, Every experience is going to be difficult. By the nine, I'm tweaking. You're tweaking, Spads? You need one more piece of armor. So I need one more piece to get the passive XP from just being in combat. But I can still get small amounts of XP for getting hit. If we get the Iron Fist perk... We can get light armor XP just from punching things. I didn't realize we could do that. So it might be worth it here to get some light armor XP, although I can't eat too many shots while living. 
steel armor they're going to do some damage archer in the back of the room if we can funnel them in here and kind of get them into 1v1s that might help us let's try it two-handed axe i've been in this dungeon quite a few times the enemy pathing is a bit weird in here yikes Never mind. Okay, there's two of them. We need to kill the two-handed first. One of them has a dagger. They're going to do limited damage. We'll be able to heal. We might be able to exploit this enemy. Also, somebody in there has a shield. Take notes on that shield. I'd rather have a light armor shield. But look, see, they get weird in this dungeon. This tunnel specifically. I'm not sure why they're stuck. But you know what? If he's going to be stuck there, I'm going to take advantage. Oh, you. Really? We got the archer in back? Come on. Two archers? Did, did we have to make it as difficult as possible? <laughs> Come on. Can I get a little bit of a break here? Maybe I can eat one arrow. Hold on. There we go. We eat one. Light armor increases. Hold the phone. That didn't do that much damage. Let's take an arrow. How much XP does one arrow give us? Ooh, that's a big chunk. Let's do it. This is our opportunity. Whoa, I got no more? Is it like one time per combat? Ah, oh, you ruined the whole thing we had a good thing going there and two-hander had to come in here and ruin it okay well we need them to die i don't want to lose the xp we've already accrued go down oh somehow that worked okay she is stuck there don't know why she's standing there a little bit more light armor xp I have no clue really though what do they have to hit the armor itself okay we got even more but that time we didn't it's very inconsistent I don't know what the rules are here uh, velvet thank you for sending your stream over hope it went well I gotta watch out. I think if both hit me at the same time, it might kill me. Like, that's just strange. Then it just stops giving XP. Go stone flush again. We just have to be patient here. I think this is working. Ah, I tried to dodge the one in back. Come on, dude, hit the shot, please. Okay, f for some reason, they may maybe they have to hit me in, like, a very specific location. If you turn around, it may hit the armor better. Alright, you're one for one. I'm putting a lot of trust and faith in this. In that bandit back there huge chunk of xp getting hit there maybe facing away does work or we got lucky no xp that time i think we just have to get lucky look at the arrows okay so you know what's funny what's happening here i don't know if you can tell or not but the arrows are falling out of me when the game tries adding them to my inventory.
Like, usually in the game, when you get shot with the arrows, it, it will, like, slowly add them back to your inventory. But no, not right now. Oh, God, how do you both miss? There we go. Light armor 20. Okay, that's good. So now that we have 20... We just have to level up one more time. We can take Iron Fist. Then we don't actually need... Well, we will still have our shield, right? The, you only get the buff if both of your hands are free, so we may have to do some tactical switching by getting rid of the shield in the middle of combat. At least it just opens up the opportunity for us to have a little bit more damage output with hand-to-hand. -hand. I'm going to get out of here, though. We got what we needed here. Let's move on. I don't even think I leveled up restoration once there. But we'll take Thank it. Thank you, kind sir. Woo two months. So I'll be able to get some damage from... Ooh, you know what's going to be a decent play? When we get the Targe of the Blooded, if we bash with the shield, it applies bleed, we take the shield away, and we punch a little bit. Maybe? Maybe not. We might just have to still focus on using Restoration to keep our stamina up while continually bashing. Also, we do have this weird animation here where if we switch to hand-to-hand, -hand, it's there's kind of a little bit of a delay. And that, that delay is huge. It's not an instantaneous switch. If it was instant, like if it was more similar to how magic is, I don't know. We might have just wasted our time there grinding for a couple light armor skill points, but eh, it's worth it. Maybe, maybe crouch to reduce the probability of them hitting your excrements. I... I think extremities. Somebody also provided that in chat, but reading excrements was funny. Why not pay for training? Don't really have the money for it. I also have to use my money for acquiring followers. First stream, I'm still waiting on that kiss. I'm not sure when I uh, promised one. That's a little forward, don't you think? Mika the raccoon. Thank you very much for two months. Good to see you. Hope you're doing all right. <laughs> you're not hitting me with an invi you're not hitting me with an invisible wall. You're not we're not no. Oh, you're such a <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, I see you. If Erica is not ready to go on an adventure. I keep saying Erica. Eric. Eric. He's not working the farm anymore. That's a good sign. to see you again how would you like to hire a brave if untested mercenary y'all didn't tell me i had to pay 500 gold you seem to be a little short on the coin come back and see me when you've got the gold where do you get off thinking that you can start demanding a price you're a complete rookie you're not you you're an intern you don't have the experience or the resume within 24 hours to demand that kind also our iron Iron armor is the best you could do. Seemed like the best way to see the world and make some coin. Sure, I'm a little green, but what I lack in experience, I make up for in courage. Okay, so there you go. Your youth and inexperience, to me, that says you shouldn't be charging 500. That's crazy. That's the same price that Mercurio pays. And while our relationship is in shambles and we no longer, well, I never loved Mercurio. Okay, let's be real. 
Not at all. Mercurio is like a fully trained, powerful mage. 500 gold. Uh, Belrind. Not gonna lie, Belrind sucked. He charged way too much. Not worth 500 gold. But, like... I mean, we, we gotta think about this. That, that, that just seems kind of crazy to me. And I only have... I only have 93 gold. I need to make more. What's my armor worth? I don't want to get rid of it. All right, that's a good start. We definitely can't die, though. Can't be losing any money. No. No. Meridia's dungeon is stacked with gold. We have already been to Meridia's dungeon. Uh, we, we looted a few of the dead bodies, but we didn't go too far in. I'm cool. Man, 500. It's so tough. Especially without fast traveling, I'm just trying to think where. I've already done Red Around's retreat. On Silent Moons, we've done the basic stuff here. Yeesh. I already have to buy food, too. Come on in. Giants camp chests? That's a good idea. They're usually locked, though. If you need a meal or room, I've got both. Here, take a look at this. Kill the giant? Came by and left this bounty letter. Sleeping tree camp. I think I can do that. I think I can kill a giant. Possibly. <laughs> that okay, that might I might be a little bit too confident there, but I'm gonna give it a try. Good day. These are gonna have like no more than five gold in them. Yeah, not worth it. Sleeping tree camp isn't very far, though. It's kind of far. Clutch. That was so clutch. Where? God damn it. Oh, this game is driving me nuts. Or it's more so it's like it's it's the mod. Sometimes I got to like I have the safety key. I'm holding it down and it doesn't actually put the armor on. Damn it, dude. My order of the Be careful. Did I get caught stealing that horse? Turn around, officer. What do you want? What is this horse doing? I'm just taking it. I don't care. I'm. Problem is your disrespect for the loss of this. Oh crap! Crap! I could have said I was Thane. Wait. Wait. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No! Don't! Please don't use the arrows. God damn it! I can't even get off the horse. I can't surrender either. Oh, fuck. Great. I'm dead. Oh, this is just wonderful. I'll spare you for now. The problem is your disrespect. Oh, we look the other way this time. There we go. All right, we use our Thane influence to get out of it. 
Get out of a jam. Horse runs over here. Can't see it. Can't see me. Come on. I think the cow can still see me. Get walking. Go. Perfect timing. All right. Horse is ours. That was way more stressful than it had any right to be, but we made it out of there. Talk about ass backwards, but we got it. I can't believe we're gonna we're gonna hit the four hour mark of this stream and not even start the dungeon that's probably gonna take us three hours to get through. I think that this dungeon is gonna be incredibly hard. I love that sinking feeling of Whenever we end this journey, we'll have 40 hours of footage. That's that always makes uh, making videos less intimidating. Do you remember the boat with the gems in the reach? Go sell the diamond with the charity buff. It's not a bad idea. However, I mean, that's just that journey just doesn't sound enjoyable. It does sound easy. But then I lose my armor. I like having this armor right now. The magical regen is pretty good for what we need right now. In the moment, it's pretty solid. Am I biting off more than I can chew by trying to kill a giant here? I only got to kill one. Not going to be able to get back onto the horse. Wait, is the giant inside the cave? That's so strange. I it's in the cave, okay. If I can't get the giant outside the cave, I don't know if I could kill one in close quarters. As soon as he goes hostile, he's going to launch into an attack. There's there's combat. He's pissed. Chest is free. Oh my gosh, 326. And tree rings. Tree rings is huge. Sleeping tree sap health is increased by 100. Let's drink it. That might help us tank one hit if it's close. Not as close as I thought. Not quite. I can take my gold that I don't have, you stupid. I also owe for one earlier. Don't mind the giant. We don't care about the giant. I don't know what he's doing. Is he kicking dirt? Gold. Tree rings. Like that. Oh, yeah. He sold his message. He sold a. I want to read this. What'd she say? Don't try to stiff me. Talk to Yasolda about sleeping tree sap. Just bring the sap to me and white run like we discussed. Well, maybe we can. Perhaps we could. Oh, this is going to get rid of our armor. No. Yes, it will. But we go tree sap. 
Don't let this guy see us. I got an idea. Maybe we're able to deliver this to you, Solda. Stop! We take that, leave the armor, we go outside. Drop the sap. Go back to the cave. Armor's back on. We can now carry the tree sap all the way to Whiterun. Not before I at least... I think in order to fight the giant, I'd have to get up on that rock. I might be able to get up on that rock. However, if I die now, I lose a significant amount of gold, and I'm very close to hiring Eric. I'll lose about 80 gold. I'm going to try it once. Do you think he can hit me? I don't think he can. So let's see. We have... We just got the spell Tree Rings. I want to see what it does. It's Restoration. Tree Rings. Caster receives 10 layers of tough plant skin, each increasing maximum health. So increase health by 190 points. But it... <laughs> They gradually fall off over the course of 30 seconds. Uh oh. Ooh, what's okay? Hold on. Oh! Please just stay right there. If we can whittle him down, come on. Yes, yes, we just gotta jockey him back and forth. Back and forth. Sorry about this, Greg. I, I know we're friends. We're friends. We've had some good adventures together. I really don't want to kill you, but I will. I wish I had Entomb. Oh, damn it. I need to bring back Entomb. Then we could just drop him in the middle of Whiterun. If I stand on the edge, I think his AI will see a line of sight towards me. If I back up, he goes back. Now, if we move forward... He might walk forward again. His AI recognizes we are reachable. We fall back, now we're not. Now we go forward again. Come on now, come on back. And we shock, now we go forward. And then he comes over. And then we go back. It's like a game of peekaboo, right? Except instead of surprising a child and basking in the laughter and adorableness, of the kid that you're surprising with minimal effort. Instead, it's a giant and it's a bounty and we're going to make a lot of money and we're going to kill it and we're going to harvest it and hopefully it drops some gold. And then then we lead this into we get the tree sap, we get it to Yasolda, we do whatever there. Maybe we get, you know, a little bit of gold. We go back to Rorikstead, we grab Eric, we reach, we get the Targe of the Blooded and we finally have our build. Or at least a lot of it. This is gonna take a while though. That didn't do anything. Uh, you know what, let's try, perhaps Putrefy does a little bit more damage because this is an overtime ability. It was 12 disease damage for 15 seconds. Maybe Death Cloud works? Don't have enough magic for it. Putrefy is pretty cheap. Yeah, this is going to be better, because then even after he goes behind the corner, he's still going to be taking a little bit of damage. Now we're doubling up on damage. Fuck, man.
That sucks ass. <sighs> that fucking blows. I'm not even, no, I'm not doing it again. <laughs> like, damn. That really sucks. And our armor is nowhere to be seen. <sighs> Dude. That sucks, man. It's like as soon as we discovered a more efficient way to kill him, his brain clicked on him. He was like, oh, no, I can. Yeah, I can kill this. Yeah, yeah, no, we're good. <laughs> we'll figure it out. Ooh. Nice, nice. Uh, that's a swing of about 400 gold. Fuck. Yeah, that 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 hurts. That 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 fucking sucks. Fucking kiss my ass. Fuck the tree sap. Fuck you, Soldier's Quest. Fuck this whole challenge. <laughs> this shit blows. I don't know how I wandered into this nonsense. We're back. We are really, we're back. Okay, okay, you know what we had? Some growing pains at this. off you're getting on my nerves we had some growing pains at the start of this challenge but now that i have my shield back i am refocused i am locked back in i am We not get a stumble there. Oh my god, where do you all keep coming from? I hate this game. We're good, we're good. We are in the clear. I am gaming. I am gaming. I'm I am having a very enjoyable time right now. Okay, we are having fun. I am having fun. Honestly, nothing really crazy has happened today. That's probably why I'm a bit frustrated. Because I'm just like, God damn it. <laughs> just can I just make the you know, can something go my way? This feels like day three and four again. No, no. I want day five. I want that fun. That was electric. That was exciting. Yes, I say electric. Can't get two stumbles that quickly. Seems dumb. Now I'm just running in circles. I'm looking for Rorix. Where the fuck is Rorix dead? I'm going the wrong way. It's... Mm. I'm freezing cold. I'm probably dying from the cold. Yeah, I mean, we can perform it in inn and make like 30 gold. It still doesn't really get us there. I got no clue what cave this is. I might have to go in, though. Hmm. 
It's gonna be a bear. Is Bloated's man... Is it a nature cave? Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's a nature cave. Oh, God damn it. It's multiple bears. Ah, oh, man. I know what to do. I know what to do. Somebody in chat probably yelled this at me, and apologies for missing it. After I dropped my vampire armor and killed those enemies, I should carry it. We sell that, and then boom, we have our follower who is going to die within, what, 12 seconds? I think it was back over on this rock. Who was the last follower that died? Oh. Wait, 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 wait. Where is it? Where is it? Uh, Eagle. Hold on. We might have just stumbled on a really good find. Come on, please. Just give me like 200 gold flat. Come on. My level is in the 20s. I need gold. Where the... Where the oh, uh, dolphin. That one. Okay, I think there's one more. There's always three. I really don't want a favorite night eye because it's fucking useless most of the time, but I will. Whatever. Process of elimination. That's just, come on. That is such a joke. I mean, I'll take a skill point. That's nice, but two gold. One? I need to retire. I was wearing this shirt on stream last, wait, really? On day two? I guess that was a couple weeks ago. Wild healing? Nah, eh, no interest. That's just gonna conjure skeleton minion. Ugh, do I go con, no, I'm not going conjuration. It sucks. Now, where did I drop the armor? I picked up the shield, like, right here. In fact, quite literally right here. Got it. Yes. Okay, okay. All right, 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 all right. All right, all right, all right. Now, we can get this to white run. Also, this upcoming dungeon is not that high level. Maybe it's good. Maybe this is all right. We just take a little bit of a break and get our money up. I got to get more money. And this dungeon up here is fairly low level. Something wants to kill me. Why? What is it? The real Eleonora, thank you very much for sending your stream over. How are you? Uh, what do we take him out with? I guess we just go hand to hand. What, what am, I don't know why I'm overthinking it. It's wolves. 
It's wolves. We'll be all right. Ellie, good to see you. Hope you're doing well. How was your stream? What were you up to? What were you playing? Or if I had to take a guess, designing. Okay, we leave the armor out here. We hit Fort Greymore. I'm not really looking for kills. XP would be nice. We mostly want to just get the rewards chest, which I think we can kind of fast track our way there. Up through here. What do you mean, what was that? Obviously, it's an intruder. I was sure I heard something. Why's it gotta be a mage? Someone there? No way. Who? <gasps> Not exactly what we needed. Now I'm out of um, I'm out of, I'm out of magic. Okay, bear trap right in the middle of that hallway. That should be an automatic hit. We got one hit on him. Two. How is he alive? Unless it just straight up did no damage. Okay, we might be in trouble here, but I'm not losing money to this little asshole. All right. <laughs> I'll tell you that right now. I'm not losing any. I'm not losing any more goddamn money here. Found you. If the bear traps only did that much damage and that was two bear traps, then I am really in trouble. What was that? Okay, somebody pushed from behind. Let's get our magic back quickly. I'm gonna wait for an hour and pray that the guy with the two-handed isn't immediately inside that door. Back to our shield, go inside. Okay, good. Yeah, it looks like he reset. Beautiful, ooh, food, finally. Here we go. Uh, do I wanna? I feel like this might be a waste. There's gonna, there's gonna be a lockpick somewhere in here. I don't wanna waste the tower. Thank I can only use it once sir. a day. I don't wanna waste it on a novice chest. There's like seven enemies in this next room. Oh, okay, that wants to pop off. Let's get one of them. Come on. You got this. You want a real fight, eh? If he wants to be stuck on that chair, then I'll take advantage now, or as soon as I can. So let's go. You know what? I'm gonna bring Putrefy back into my main lineup. You want the first. Last. Don't you we got ourselves a hero. Okay, Archer in back. You know what? If he's going to be stuck there, let's just slowly kill him. Go down. Thank you. Is that light armor? I'm going to take that and throw that shield on instead of heavy armor. Have I been sleeping on Putrefy? Possibly. Oh, he's cooked. Game over. Come on, rewards chest. Are you fleeing? What are you doing over here? What? 
No, 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 I'm sorry. You're not, no. No more. I use, I use. That's cowardice. Ooh! Oh, oh my! Twelve hundred. I'm taking it. I'm taking it. I know I probably shouldn't. I shouldn't get greedy. Twelve hundred. I, I have to take that. Right. That's passive income. Good. You've been paying attention in class. I see. Thirty-three. Elven war axe of. What? Paralysis? Oh my god. Am I a one-handed build? I'm not gonna be able to recharge it. I'm not gonna be able to recharge it. Did we just witness? No, that's not what a goon is, okay? Grow up. Uh, I don't think I can take it. Oh man, that's just awesome though. I don't know what to do. It's worth more than the vampire armor. I gotta think for a sec, maybe. And if I am gonna leave, We'll go tower. Cash. I love it. 474. Okay, so we can almost afford Eric after far too much time. Ah, shit. I think I'm just leaving it behind. Give the axe to Eric. You know what? I think you guys are right. Okay, here's the plan. Let's, yeah, let's get air. Oh my gosh. Yeah, no. I feel like I have to get this to a follower. If we give Eric an axe that can paralyze people, that's just huge. So we'll equip the necklace. Double check that it's in our inventory. Thank you, kind sir. Take the axe to Whiterun, sell the necklace, equip the axe. Bring it to Rorik's dead. And we might actually be able to, if, like if Eric is paralyzing people consistently, that could be unreal. Eric is better with two-handed though? <laughs> Not if the two-handed doesn't paralyze. I will take, I'll take crowd control over straight damage any day of the week. Can you carry something in telekinesis another? I don't think you can. You're already holding. Well, look at you. I've never been that impressed with the, uh, the debug notifications in the top left corner. If you didn't know, that's what they are called. Vampires are killing something up here. Let's make sure this ax doesn't disappear. Oh, this is such a good find. Uh, so somebody remind me though, if Eric has this ax, will it recharge? You still have to recharge it. Okay. Well then, I can still do that. No, I can't. Why am I being attacked? Who is hostile? Some kind of vampire. I don't know what's going on over there, but I'm just avoiding it. If you give a follower filled soul gems, can they recharge a weapon? Yes. 
I would never, I would, I would absolutely consider giving the follower filled soul gems to keep using this weapon. I would consider that as an upgrade and not storing, you know, items like we've outlawed. That's dashing. Fuck off. <laughs> it's been painful enough. Pretty sure that they don't use soul gems. All right, we're, we're gonna have to figure this out. I'm Googling. Do Skyrim followers use soul gems? Now, followers can make it way easier to fill soul gems unless this has been patched, blah, 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 but followers won't use those soul gems to recharge. Okay, Arcade. Can a follower full fill a soul gem? No, I don't need to know if they can follow fill soul gems. Do Skyrim followers recharge weapons? Yeah, I don't think they can. Unfortunately, I don't think they can. On the bright side, though, we made it back to Whiterun with some pretty valuable loot. We'll get some cash. And jeez, after three hours finally begin looking into the original the, you know the first thing i wanted to do well, let me know if you want anything Think first thing i wanted to do here somewhere your skin's as pale as the snow you scared of sunlight or something yes sure thing it's yours for a day i'll show you to your room right this way You must either be crazy or supremely confident to go walk. Let me know if there's anything else. A little bit of both, Sadia. If it's work you need, how about let's sate that appetite, hmm? We go ooh, grilled chicken breast. Let's go with two of those. Need anything else? Just let me know. No. Can we turn Sadia in for some quick money? I don't know if I ever talked to the Alakir. I might have to go back to Rorik's Dead to actually start that quest. Regardless, 450 gold. I'm so I'm still really salty about not getting the giant bounty. That's frustrating. I mean, we had it. We had it. We were on the cusp of greatness. You can have the soul gems and recharge the axe in his inventory. So if I have soul gems on me, I'm still going to give him the axe, right? I mean, it's Elvin. It's an upgrade over what he's going to have currently. And then if I find an enchanted soul gem, I throw it into my inventory or a filled soul gem, you know, throw it into my inventory after the battle ends, talk to him, look in his inventory. I can likely charge it from the inventory screen if it's in his inventory. And that works for me. What about your armor? Well, I would only be dropping it briefly. But like if the, like a soul gem is in a chest or it's on the ground. If we're about to do a Dwemer dungeon, we're going to be finding filled soul gem. Oh my god, they're going to be immune to paralyze. <laughs> Damn it. We're going to be fighting automatons and they're going to be immune. Use the axe to kill the giant. I don't know if I want to get that close to the giant. 
hundreds of hours playing this game and I didn't know you could sneakily steal a horse. That I just discovered it, uh, at least the last video that was on the channel. It's pretty early in the video, but I did make sure to include it. Stealing a horse while stealthing. For the most part, most of the time is legal. Okay, does this horse just not sprint? I guess not. It's not legal, you just aren't getting caught brazenly stealing. Now I disagree, because they see me after the fact while I'm riding the horse and the crime is still very much in progress. It sounds legal to me. Yes, I am finally on my way to get Eric. Getting armor back first? No. No, we're going to move off of the armor because we're going to eventually just go back to block. Or I don't know. Yo, there's just... There's too much shit to keep track of. Sorry, horse. Thank you for your sacrifice. Maybe we throw Eric into the giant's cave. Take out that bounty. My, the, do we do we start at the top of the difficulty scale? You have literally only one item to keep track of. False. Totally false. We have to keep track of, you know, the items we want to eventually go for or may possibly run into. The quest we may possibly want to do or eventually run into. The followers, gold, money. What item is most beneficial to the current state that we're currently in? It's not my fault your understanding of it is shallow. I can't, I can't, I, 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 I'm working with what I got here. Another saber cat. They're just, uh, are they like fucking like crazy? Are saber cats just party animals? Because I swear they reproduce like crazy. They are all over. I can't avoid them. It's like they've had their own baby boom. All right, maybe y'all were right. I missed the vampire armor already. I want it back. Seven, no stamina during daylight. That really blows. The choke spell is like putrefied, but it stacks. That sounds kind of OP. I just gained a ton of magic there. I wonder why. I'm trying to think why that might happen. Akato's recital because it casts those spells for free. I wonder if it has to temporarily set the player's magic to the level required to cast the spell. So my magic shot up to the required amount for stone flesh to be cast. Or at least that's my interpretation of it. Come on 
in. Just stoke the fire. Take a seat and get the cold down. Finally. It just feels right somehow. Having this new life as an adventurer. It's what I was meant to do. I'm getting sick of this guy. Like, okay, this guy, he just entered his new phase, his new hobby. And he's obsessed with it. I've I've met too many people in my life just like that. Eric, I need to trade some things with you. No problem. How can I help? Let's start by giving you a nice little upgrade. Take it. Enjoy it. Never let go of it. You lead, I'll follow. Okay. Objective one down. I just hate that we're caught out here in the middle of nowhere. Nice work, Eric. Way to not say anything. We're starting him off hot with some new lessons. Is Eric next on the chopping block? I wouldn't call it a chopping block. I would call it the heroism circle. Okay, there's a few directions we can go here now. What's best? You know, what would be best is a shield that also applies Magicka regen. Although I don't know if shields can actually take that enchantment. Yeah, sorry, Chad. I know this this hasn't been a very eventful stream. Not as eventful as I hoped. I definitely thought that we would have gotten farther. Oh, I, I guess, you know what? Our little play where we jumped on top of our own armor after 15 deaths to make a cool jump. That was awesome. That was awesome. Imagine I just get a notification here that says Eric has died. want to go for that giant kill again. Maybe I will go back for the vampire armor. It's not far. I just left it on the ground right outside that dungeon. And I mean, until I find a shield that truly fills the role that I want it to of, you know, having some decent damage output, that armor's pretty good. It's a really nice quality of life bump too for us. Like it negates some of the vampire, you know, negatives we get at in the sun. Yeah, I wonder how Serana's doing. <laughs> She's sitting back in that room. She's been stuck there for like three days now. I'm not gonna get Eric killed, okay? If anything, Eric gets himself killed. That's not my fault. Why don't you get ebony mail to get poison damage? I don't know. Why should I? Hell yeah, the armor is still here. And Eric's here. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to peruse through this dungeon real quick. I think we're going to be able to get Eric some gear upgrades. But I am going to make it damn sure he doesn't step on any of these traps. If he walks into that, sp don't walk into the spike ball. There you go. The Earls never want to pay to keep their forts. Just keep oh. slipping further into ruin. Of course, there's a lockpick here. There's a freedom the roads. Uh. 
What about freedom? That's a two-hander. Should be okay. What was that? Eric, you ready? Why are you? I don't know why you're looking at me, Eric. Don't watch me. I thought you were a professional at this. It's why I hired you. Holy crap, Eric's gonna get the shit kicked out of him. Uh, he's got decent health still. Let's just make sure. He oh, it worked. Okay, the paralyzation works. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's very good. And when they die, they look frozen, which is kind of funny. It's like immediate rigor mortis. Well, we can upgrade his armor here already. We got steel boots. Check the charge. Yeah, let's see. Good day, friend. No problem. How can I help? So we look at his. I mean, it looks like it didn't use that much charge. If I'm able to find a filled soul gem, though, I want to check if I can refill it from his inventory. Skillbook? No. Nothing really. Not a whole lot in there. I just cook and clean and do Nothing. whatever it is they ask of me. There's still a couple more at the top of the next room. I know, I didn't grab the steel boots. Uh, I think we're gonna run into a dungeon boss here who's probably gonna have the best gear in the whole fort. Oh, wait, I just went in a circle. Iron, don't care for it. Nada. Is that filled? Damn. Okay, okay, light armor, we like it. Imperial, oh wow. Wait, steel plate. That's a big upgrade. Let's take that. Come here, Eric. I have no clue where he's at. It just feels right, some. No problem. How can I help? Beautiful. Now you look like a warrior. Get off. Ooh, big time damage. I'm on your side. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Focus on the guy right in front of you. Not enough magic for flame cloak. Wait, really? I can't even cast it while I'm out. Oh, I guess my overall magic is probably limited right now. Let's just focus one enemy at a time. Let's take this guy out in front of us. Keep healing hands on so we can help him. Okay, okay, that's a shitload of damage. Nice, got him paralyzed. Was that a one hit kill? Just straight to my forehead? What's going on with this game, dude? Shit is too hard. Oh god, dumb fuck's gonna go into ranged. He's already dead. <laughs> he's uh, he's already dead. What are you talking about? Not necessary. Just hurry up and shoot them. Oh, 
Oh, it's an okay. He's got an orcish sword. That's why he's kicking so much ass. Oh God. Okay, I have no clue. Future fry probably helps. I'm dead. No, don't. Ah, God damn it, man. Uh, I thought I had spell in both hands and instead I power attacked with the left. Fuck, man. This is so hard. Okay, Putrefy might be decent. Eric can probably handle the one archer to the right. Rather than knocking the archer off the ledge, I think we let Eric cook. I probably have to go left, try to slow them down in some way. Damn, I'm still getting two shot. Like we got ourselves a hero. This guy, let's isolate this prick. Get him, boys. Can't cast flame cloak, that's bad. I just spit all over my mic. Eric's good on health. Eric's low on health. Now we got to take this opportunity. Heal up Eric. Should give him a little bit of a boost. Holy shit, there's three of them now. Uh, I probably have to go Vampire Lord at some point, which I don't want to do. Just because it feels like cowardice, <laughs> as dumb as that might be. I have to think through this, though. This guy right next to us isn't doing that good on health. Guy in the middle is going to rock our shit. Eric, for some reason, is using range. So that's obnoxious. Uh... Maybe if we keep healing hands in one hand and give ourselves the ability to punch. I got to get Unrelenting Force back. Please paralyze somebody, Eric. Please paralyze somebody for the love of God. I need it to happen now. Rotate. Stun the archer if we can and then go back to pop some healing onto Eric. Archer's going to hit me. Okay, he's almost got one dead. I'll finish him off. Focus on paralyzing Chad, Eric. You have a good amount of health left. We're in decent shape here, but we got to make one more good play. There we go. There's the paralyze. All right, we got Putrefy in both of them, so they take some passive damage. Eric's going to spend his time swinging at the guy who's paralyzed and missing the majority of his hits. Let's go healing hands. He's probably going to get hit by an arrow here. I healed the wrong person. I didn't heal Eric. We can give him some, not a lot. That guy's way too much health. Holy shit, he's tanky. Uh, okay. I, I can't tell what Eric's health is. I have to know. Uh, but he paralyzed again. Take advantage. Nice. We... Dude. Fuck me, man. All right. Okay. Ugh, dude, fuck off, dude. God damn it, man. Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, that's the worst.
I can't get too heated, though. If it makes you feel any better, your haircut looks great. Mick, I appreciate it. Thank you. I finally fixed it with my barber. I realized that we weren't actually lining up my forehead. It was driving me nuts. I couldn't figure out what was going on. Do we need to fight these guys? Not really. I mean, I only wanted to fight them <clears throat> so that we could try to upgrade our gear. Holy shit, I need to take two seconds because it took everything in my soul to not actually put my forehead through my monitor <laughs> when we lost that one. Holy shit. That was bullshit. No, that was actually... That was that was crazy. Nah, I was playing well. We were playing perfectly well just to get one shot. Come on. That's just not fair. I'm mad. I'm a little salty. Just go with Vamp Lord. It's so fucking lame. I'm sorry. I know I, I can I can tell people are going nuts in the background. Like just use Vampire Lord. It's way easier. I think it's so lame. All right, all right. Cars music picks up my mood just a little bit. I mean, like, I want to, you know, I just don't know if we can figure out that, you know. I guess I am debuffed because, you know, vampirism and I'm outdoors. Why? Because it sucks. It's just like a it's too easy. Like, you know, you sit in the back, you launch the spells. I don't know. It's not it's not visually stimulating or exciting. There's nothing kind of tactical about it. It's running to the other side and mashing. There's nothing to really figure out. You know, the 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 solution to the problem is use Vampire Lord. There's no use Vampire Lord in this way. I mean, maybe use Vampire Lord to use bats and move around. There's a little bit of utility there. Hmm, that was tough, though. Could always get rid of vampirism. <sighs> but then, but then, I mean, I've already... Okay, we're gonna go back and save. I'm going back inside. We definitely can't take on that fight outdoors. Although all my money is... Eh, I guess not, most of it's now gone. We lose a decent amount. Give him, uh, oh my, mm. <laughs> fucking lose my mind. It just feels right, son. No problem. How can I help? Take the armor. Lead on. There we go. Okay, now he now he's got his you know little armor upgrade. God damn it. Whoops. Jesus. You only have to keep track of one item. Ha! Disproven. Ha, welcome to the Welcome to the correction zone, motherfucker. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, fuck that battle up top. Too many enemies. Uh, 
I think I my worst fear kind of came to fruition. We did all of that illusion grinding that skyrocketed our level. I think that's coming back to kick us in the ass a little bit. It was a it was like short term, a little bit of buff. If we run into lower level enemies, we're OK. Some of the enemies are going to get buffed, so, you know, that's only natural. I'm ripping this bong for you. Oh, sweet. I, I, I could use illusion. You see, I mean, the problem I'm trying to avoid here is ending up in the exact same playstyle we ended up in. Uh, or into like a bunch of the similar playstyles we used when we did Chaos Mage. Basically, the dungeon that we did last stream with the vampires, that's the exact dungeon I want to do 10 times in a row. <laughs> but we've unfortunately ended up in precarious positions a few times. But we've got 392 gold. I think we need to look to add. We need a new spell. I, I got to have maybe something. I'm begging for your answer if you think Gatorade should be thicker. Ew. Wait, why? Why would you want thick Gatorade? When the Empire surrendered to the That'd be ew, no 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 that'd be gross. You're halfway to Jello at that point. Just eat Jello if you if you want thicker Gatorade. Isn't thick Gatorade Sunny D? I, I mean, yeah, you're not far off. You might as well be. to dragons reach to these spells and incantations for those with the talent to cast them okay did somebody say that choking grasp stacks it does it's only 190 I'm going to take strangulation. It's more expensive. You know, if you've got the aptitude. You should join the if it also stacks, it costs 44 so we can double cast. Ages college in winter hold. Now, let's fucking cook. Although I have a feeling, even though we're, we're going into a Dwemer dungeon, I think that's what Alptand is. Alptand, whatever the hell it's called. Who killed this guard? I didn't do that.
Did I kill them? Oh, you know what, honey nut tree, give me that. Lady, could you spare Test new spell on Heimsker. Not right now, not right now. The the one thing I need is less heat on my back. Let's just take what we got. We'll get to Dawnstar. We'll find the dungeon. It's gonna be okay. I hope. We will get through this dungeon. And then I'm gonna be happy and my mood's gonna pick up and I'll be all excited again. And I'll be like, we're so back. We are so fucking back. Chat? That's what's gonna happen. How's the challenge going? Oh, uh, today's not a good one. <laughs> Today it's not going too well. It's just so hard to have like a real dialed in strategy. Where do you want to go? Climbing back and we'll be off. I thought it was gonna be out of money. Oh, steady. I know somebody out there is gonna be like you totally cheated and you didn't lose your gold. You know, what? I've been punished enough I've been punished quite a bit. Leave me alone Is today better or worse than the first day now the first day was great Those losses were absolutely electric on the first day And we're gonna freeze our dick off out here YouTube loves when you suffer maybe I mean like look I don't I don't mind it at times I, I've talked about it a few times like if, if I die and I understand the context of it and I go yeah that was probably a pretty funny one then like I don't mind it some of them on this challenge have been a little you know like come on I some of, some of them have been a bit frustrating that's okay. That's part of the experience. Need a room? It's yours for a day. Edge, good to see you. Thank you for sending your stream over. How have you been? Food for the hungry. Let's. Uh, did I pay for rent? Or are you joking? Okay. No, I'm. I'm not joking, Thorin. I just have really bad memory right now. Short term. I'll show you to It's not good. Right this way. Oh, no way. This is an old rabbit haunch that I bought previously. Okay, we'll grab the steak off the floor in the morning. What were you up to today, Edge? Uh, I don't want to sleep for that long, actually. We're going to take this journey at night. Let me know if there's anything else you need. It's going to be hard to see. Oh, my God. There's so much food here that I've already bought. We'll sleep. Full hunger. We take the armor, Even and I guess throw this giant rigid catfish. Or lack thereof. I'll put it on the bed. Hey, watch it. The fuck out of my way. Mm. I'm a man on a mission. Ooh, Brought that looks cool. My husband years ago. He was a good man. <sighs> looks like lightsaber lighting. Doing great. Turns out Skyrim mouse only challenge you, is very sir. slow. Oh, well, yeah. This one's going pretty slow as well. As you can, <laughs> as you might be able to tell. Okay, alt fan, alt fan, whatever the hell it's called. It's somewhere in the middle right up here. So we're going to have to go through some cold. Strangulation, fast healing. We can do this. No, we can't. We can't do this. I'm already getting blocked. Why, why are there so many invisible walls? Who let this JK, whoever made this JK Skyrim out? I don't know who you are, JK, but your invisible walls are getting on my nerves. Stop it. Remove them. I'm so fucking... This mod is driving me crazy, man. It's driving me absolutely insane. I picked up the armor, did I not? Sometimes it just doesn't pick it up. Maybe I completely forgot at that time. 
Be careful. I'm just one of the miners. I don't want any trouble. Tamio, good to see you. Thank you for watching the VOD channel. Sorry, I'm in a bad mood today. I'm trying to I'm trying to pick up my mood if I can. Hey, it happens sometimes. Watching while I donate plasma. Ooh, good luck. Thank you for the donation. Not not to me personally. I'm not ordering. Can you just order bags of plasma? Not that I would. You can't do that, right? Like, the average person can't just go online and buy bags of plasma. What even... What is plasma? Plasma is like... It's a part of your blood, but it's clear, isn't it? You killed off my loved... I did not kill off Janassa. Why are we being attacked, right... Eric? Where's Eric? Thank you, kind sir. Where's Eric? Oh, God, no, not right now. Okay, let's try strangulation. Maybe it's dope. Looks like it hits decently. Nice, good catch. That's only going to work for three seconds, though. We got all of our magic back. Let's take this opportunity, hit the rocks. I'm not getting... So we get a double hit there. Okay, Ice Wolf damage. Not crazy. And we get all of our health back right after getting hit. Oh, yeah. Okay, all right. I am viable. <laughs> okay, we're back. Eric can't hit anything. Oh, man, he is going to be way better with two-handed. Anything that's short, he's going to struggle to hit. Dude, uh, uh, I keep waking up. By the way, I, it keeps happening. When I fall asleep to have a YouTube on my TV, I keep waking up to my freaking VOD channel and it jump scares me and I have to like immediately change it to something. I, 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 I gotta stop. I gotta somehow on like my main YouTube account that I use to watch YouTube, I think I just have to block the, my VOD channel from showing up. I'm tired of it. It might work for y'all to sleep too, but not for me. Is Eric dead? No way. No, we just, he was just back there. He'll catch up. I gotta be careful though while I'm out here. I don't wanna freeze. So I think I'm gonna pop up here. Pop into the lighthouse. If the game decides to throw, you are numb and you have hypothermia at me. I'm going to be upset again. You guys remember what happened when we were last year? Tragic. Tragedy struck and we lost Benor. Can't wait when enemies are nearby. Love this place. I don't know why that door is still locked. It really didn't give me back my warmth. Still, I'm chilly. Don't get too far ahead. Gotta have as much time as possible out in the cold.
Now, am I right in saying that Altfand is right about here? Fairly close by, right? It's probably this. That little Dwemer, right? Well, let's hope it is. Frost Troll? He's ch- Ah, oh, great. Frost Troll is chasing the goats. He's pr It's probably gonna aggro the Frost Troll into Eric. Come on, Eric. I gotta keep tabs on it. Oh, nice. All right, sweet. The troll went the other way. I can't wait to get here just so I can figure out how to pronounce the damn name of this place. It's the one thing I'm looking forward to. Not dragon, not dragon. No, not the time. <laughs> Definitely not the time, Mr. Dragon. Let's not. Uh, shit, 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 shit. Eric, why are you shooting at the dragon? I gotta get inside. Alftand. That's how you say it. Alftand. 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 Any relation to Alf? Shouldn't be doing this. We should not be looting. Okay, it's locked. Fuck it. Of course. Of course, it's not the right fucking entrance. Sunlight! It's 5 a.m. The sun's not out yet. Damn it. Where's the actual entrance? Oh, boy. I have to get inside before Eric dies. This isn't good. The glacial ruins aren't going to be any warmer. Okay, he followed us in, though. That's good, at least. I'm so screwed. <laughs> I'm so absolutely screwed in here. This place is so well it's even a hint of rust. All right, I think if we go down here, we can. I think we're going the right way. I just need to warm up. Yeah, I was going to say, there's a Khajiit down here arguing with someone. We're going to have to fight him. Eric, if I get you through this, give me the... Good day, friend. Keeping well? No problem. How can I help? I'm taking your bow. Get rid of that trash and stick to what works. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Now let's check. Where's he at with the charge? No problem. How can I help? It's almost it's almost at full charge. That thing has a lot of uses to it. Let's just see though. Proof of concept. No problem. How can I help? I don't think I can recharge it. Damn, I can't recharge it from his inventory. Lead on. That's pretty disappointing. Choke doesn't work on a Thomas. Oh, I know. We'll be all right. I think. Possibly. Paralyze won't work either. Chad, what do you think the odds are of me getting through this dungeon without dying a single time? Here's where we're going to really find out, though. 
what kind of damage are we able to put out? Flame Cloak is likely going to be our best offensive spell. Not bad. Okay. Okay. Actually not bad in terms of damage output. I didn't even have Flame Cloak on. Look at that. Thank you, kind sir. Eric, you doing okay? All right, so we're going to go flame cloak left, right hand open, because the left hand punch is awkward. Looked like it hit pretty hard, though. Uh oh. Uh oh. I'm feeling a little confident. I need to be able to tell what his health is at. Like if I had a better, if I had a better way of gauging, whatever. All right, sweet. Now we got to kill this Khajiit. Ah, I forgot he does good damage. Should have known. Eric, please come paralyze this man. Ah, good. Thank you. Right on time. Good shit, Eric. Maybe I shouldn't have been so harsh to him. Eric, your father would be so proud of you right now. I'm proud of you. You're way better than Benor. What about food? No food, just skooma. Little bite to eat? No, not quite. Let's keep it moving. I, I should have tried to get some brawling mitts, but now it's going to get kind of serious. Oh, Lord. Okay, we're gonna have a spider that falls out of there. We've got some oil on the ground. Hey, Eric. <laughs> I'm really sorry about this. I shouldn't have taken you here, Eric. Ah, oh, no, they're roly boys. No, <laughs> no, okay. Uh, they're roly boys. That's a problem. Stone flesh is about to run out for me as well, so I immediately start this fight off with a little bit of a disadvantage. Can't afford flame cloak. At least we got a dodge in there. Eric looks like he did pretty solid damage though on that one. We have to target the weakest enemy right now. Eric landed a nice power attack. Their hitboxes are going to be easier for him to hit as well. We open up our right hand. We go left hand flame cloak until we can cast it. Now we got to heal Eric. He's almost got one dead. Come on, buddy. I think that's one down. Nice, nice, nice. Push, Eric, push. Come on, Eric, you want to be an adventurer? That's what I'm talking about, Eric. It just feels right. Problem? How can I help? Barely using any of that charge. Let's get going. It might not be activating on the Dwarven enemies. Still, we got a long way to go. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm talking about, Eric. That's why I love you. 
Okay, you and me, we're getting through this dungeon, all right? All the outside noise, the chatters, talking shit, the people who think that you and I are both gonna die, more than likely just you, because I can save and have checkpoints, I'm the main character and all that. We don't listen to the outside noise. We just focus, you and me, all the way to the end, we got this, buddy. We get lucky on one really good loot drop, and we're set. There's gas in this hallway. One at a time. Enemy in here. There we go. A little bit harder to hit because they're low. Wouldn't it be awesome if restoration leveled up? You guys remember when we could actually get XP in that fucking skill? Part of me thinks I may have to go... Ooh. No, 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 no. I have to get in there. I have to get in there. But I don't have food in order to... I knew I shouldn't have wasted the tower. I gotta get a lockpick. Okay, I'm gonna run back. Ooh. I'm not gonna be able to find a lockpick in here. There's not gonna be very many human people that might drop it. <clears throat> Use Eric? Oops. Can Eric unlock it if he doesn't have a lockpick? What's I have the tower stone. No, I can't have him unlock it. No, that's Fallout 4. Yeah, no lockpick. That's so tough. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait on a second. Hold on. I'm getting in. I don't know if I'm getting out, <laughs> but I'm getting into that room. Please work. Please, for all that is good. There's a bowl in the room. I'm getting in. I'm getting into the room. I don't care how long it takes. Ooh, come on, come on. Yeah, it's gonna work. I just gotta time it right. Oh, you bastard, it was so close there. Maybe I need this flipped around. Yeah, let's put that side on it. No, uh, as soon as I like. It's kind of hard. There's like a delay on the input of sprint. I think it's got to be a little bit higher than that. Oh, yeah, we're getting in. I'm getting that loot. I guarantee there is game changing loot in this room. I just want to get in there so bad. Come on. Ah, let me in. Nope, nope, nope. 
It's happening. This is the real boss battle. Eric, you want to learn what strong will well, get in? You want to learn what strong will is? Determination? Okay, lower, lower chest might get us in there. No, 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 we're hitting the handle. It's at like an awkward angle. Maybe if I run at an angle. It keeps like pushing to the side of my character. Oh man, we're like right there. No, there's a bowl in that room. I don't know if you guys can see the bowl on that shelf. But there's also plates. I think if we can get in, we can get out. Oh my, come on! Your whole head was through. Finish the job. You can't like do any after adjustments. It's gonna be right at the get-go, it'll go through. See, like, there's no point in just continuing to run through. Oh, oh, we're so close. Come on. No, didn't like that. I didn't even like that one as it approached. out of the way, Eric. Now nah, too high. God, please. Ah, oh, damn it. I thought I would get in before the song ended. I'm not going to lie. Use Eric's armor. It just feels right somehow. No problem. How can I help? Why did I not take his shield? Nah, it doesn't look like the shield will work. Doesn't have a big enough hitbox. I could try my armor. Nah, it doesn't look like armor has the same sort of doesn't have the juice. I think the way we get through is we flip this round, flip around, <clears throat> flip there. Like you see, it grabs it there. I want to grab it in the middle of the actual bowl. But the handle keeps fucking things up. <clears throat> that might be, I think that's the angle that gets us through the door. If we go at a slight left to right angle. No, we don't want to hit the middle of the door. That's its thickest point. Eric, get out of the way. gonna feel so good if we get through this door oh man I don't know I don't know how long I can keep doing it okay I will give it what time is it right now oh, no no 
Okay, okay. This song is five minutes. By the time it ends, if I'm not in there, I'll quit. Sneak and push Eric towards the gate. His pathfinding will unlock it. Not joking. Are you serious? I can't really push him. Can't really move him. What's the hurry? So you think if I push him in? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Hold on. Yo, we might have some sauce here. Thank you, kind sir. Whoops. Oh, he was moving a little bit. This would be insane if he somehow clips through and unlocks it. No, don't, don't turn too much. Oh my God, he's in. Oh my god, he's he is in the room. Okay, what happens now? What? I have never gotten this far. E Eric, everything's gonna be okay. Unlock the gate, Eric. Don't phase through. You can do this. Unlock. So what do I do? I don't know. Maybe just something fucked up with his hitbox lets us through the door. I'm gonna run straight at you, Eric. We're about we're when we're <laughs> we'll know we're through the gate when our lips meet in the middle. I don't think he's gonna unlock it. I think he's gonna teleport through. Order him to do something. I can't even talk to him. What do you need? What do you need? Okay, got it. Can't do that. I'm sorry. Okay, got it. Oh, he teleported through. It didn't work. I had a feeling that's probably what he would do. Now we're just back to square zero. Oh my goodness, come on. Eric, why don't you push me in? Wait a minute, hold on, I have an idea. At first I thought I'd miss what do you need? Okay, what Eric. Need? Stand right here. Okay, got it. Anything else? I, I don't know, I don't know. Maybe just throwing him in there causes some weird collision. Hey, watch it! Oh, no way! <laughs> My only chance goes through, but not me? Oh, crap. Okay. That was worth a try. 
Do I go shield? Or do I keep my armor? No, I think I need the... I think I need the health regen. We'll give the shield, shield back works. to Eric. No problem. How can I help? I'll just be here then. Great. I wasted so much time too. Now I have less stamina. I'm hungry. I'm tired. Loot chest right in front. Oh man, why didn't I? Thank you, kind sir. Let's hope Eric doesn't follow an egg into the abyss or something. Absorb 20 points of magicka. That's pretty good. Can he dual wield? Tell Eric to follow again. We'll, we'll get him back. Uh, Optimus Prime, thank you for two months. That would have been a hilarious way to go. Thankfully, I'm, I'm alive. <laughs> Thankfully, I'm not dead. That would have been a really funny way to die. At first, I thought I'd miss farming. No problem. How can I help? No, it looks like he only does one. Just be here, then. This new armor fits me like a glove. No problem. How can I help? Then we'll take that one. Give him the shield. I'll just be here then. <clears throat> okay, we proceed. Pretend that none of that nonsense happened. Our best play is still flame cloak left, fist right. Didn't even know what hit him. I also did not tell Eric to follow. I know, I know, I know. If I can make enough Great, let's go. This is a huge problem, though. We're not going to have any food in here. Traps all around. I'm going to check the back side of this room as well. You know what, if something broke in their AI and they won't attack back, I don't care. I'll take it as a win. Adapt, nice, nice, nice. They're all gonna be locked. Oh my Lord, Do <laughs> does everything have to be locked? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that one's a little bit aggressive. Eric's all good. We're all in one shape. All in one shape. We're all in one piece. We're all in good shape. I know this room. Okay, hold on. This would just push us back into the room we were just in. It's no big deal. Eric might get knocked off, but he'll be okay. Still kicking? Still good. What's he fighting? Oh, shit. Okay, let's not get... Let's just make sure he's okay. All good. Keep it together, my good friend. 
I'm getting him out of here alive. I will not lose him. We've lost far too many people. Oh, all right, all right. I'm feeling okay. I'm feeling a little bit better. Although you know shit's about to get serious when the Dwemer dungeon changes names, or it tells you you're in a more specific location within said dungeon. That's usually where shit gets real. Let's pray we- Ooh, Falmer shield, hold on. Ah! Do we give him the great sword? Let me check the damage. Wait a minute, y'all said he's better with two-handed, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. He's better with two-handed. The paralyzation isn't going to help us right now. God, I, honestly, I'm better with two-handed. I should just give. <laughs> I should just start swinging this thing. I guess I've had my fill of it. If there's Falmer, the paralysis will be good though. No problem. How can I help? All right. Well, we have to think immediate need, immediate solution, immediate need. You lead. But by rule, we can't store the axe on him. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the axe with us. He doesn't have a helmet. You're putting on a new helmet. I don't care if it looks ugly, Eric. No complaining. Put the helmet on. How do you even see through that thing? Is it like a kaleidoscope? Armor is on. We're gonna carry the axe with us. Keep tabs on that bed. We might have to use it. In order to give myself sleep though, I gotta find food. Okay, little spider. One at a time. I think he's gonna struggle to hit the spiders, but for the big guys, he's gonna hit hard. Okay, we got a rolly boy. One at a time, come on down. What a hit. To all my two-handed haters out there, I think you've uh, been proven wrong. Where did I put that ax? Here. We just can't lose track of it. We start fighting organic enemies. We cross that bridge when we get there. I'm gonna die. Psych! Although, damn, I, I am gonna lose this thing every single time. It's hard to find each time. Oh, we're taking it slow. Snail's pace. What's down here? Hmm. Ooh. Hold on a sec. And rust. The eyeless creatures. Falmer. Yeah, we are going to hit Falmer. Okay, so we want to make sure we keep an eye on that. <gasps> Luck pick. It's about goddamn time. All right, we got a lockpick. Now, do we backtrack to go unlock chest we wanted to run into? Hold on, we only have one opportunity here. We got to play this smart. Get one shot on Adept. No. Uh-oh. Don't really like the way this is trending so far. There we go. Mm. Okay, it's an Adam's Locks. It's not going to be a massive correction, but it won't be nothing. Okay, it's not that way. Return to where we were. Slightly more. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, and they're 
there's two more lockpicks in here. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> oh, oh, man, I'm gonna. Uh, I am. <sighs> it's okay. Every, <laughs> okay, I don't know how to react to my first, like, W in a really long time. Okay, okay, all right. Not, not the most incredible loot ever. But I will be taking, we have to take the lockpicks. We gotta take advantage now. There has to be just something that can help us. Come on. I'll leave the armor there. Don't really know where this goes. Get out of the way, Eric. All right, this is just back the way we came. Where was? I think it was back in this hallway at the other side. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, stack lock picks. I mean, it would be great if we got, uh, think about it. There, there could be potential upgrades in there for Eric, right? We could find enchanted gloves or boots. I and mean, there's a lot of different things. It doesn't necessarily have to be something that I can immediately use. Do we go door? It's Apprentice. So I think we go door here. But again, there we go. We still want to be as careful as possible. No, oh, no, no, no. We can't be breaking it on Apprentice. That's tough. Okay, it's a roly boy and I have no armor. That's not good. <laughs> it's actually very bad. Eric, okay, Eric's right there. That's good. He missed, god damn it. He's missed every attack so far. There you go, he finally got one. This asshole turns to attack me though. I'm going down in one hit. Let's just make sure Eric stays good. Come on, Air. There you go, good hit. Lesser soul, not much, why am I cold? Absolutely massive. Ah, oh, I don't know what to do. Okay, can we give the necklace to Eric? Eric can take the necklace, right? This is a straight buff to Eric. That's massive. Conjure bear totem. Don't know what that does. Maybe I take it. Dwarven battle axe of consuming. Uh, I, it's gonna have the exact same attack pattern as the last one. This one comes with absorb health. Eric, you take it. I don't know where the axe went of paralysis. I'll figure that out later. Let's do this first. We'll grab the lock picks. Eric, come here. Just feels right. No problem. How can I help? Take the necklace. Yes, he equipped it. Yes, he's got it on. Lead on. Okay, battle axe. At first I thought I'd miss one. No problem. How can I help? Let's get going then. All right, all right, all right. Now we go back to the lockpicks. Still have two left. The stories don't say why the dwarves disappeared. I can unlock. I can even go back even further. We can unlock the gate that I was trying to glitch through. It's all coming together. This one down here is locked. We got to be careful. Adept. Okay, a little bit scary. I break my lockpick on this one. I'm gonna go do the novice. Come on, just give me a first guess. Nope. Nope. M maybe. Okay, we got motion. We got movement. Just give it to me. Give me the perfect unlock. Okay, we're not quite there. Not a big correction, small chunk. 
If that didn't work, it's gonna tick somewhere right around. I'm, I'm touching my screen right now, but I need it as a guide. I think we got it. Nice, nailed it. Ah, nah, just gold. Not good. Now we got here, we got a novice. Don't get stupid now. No, don't be stupid. It's 12 o'clock. Yeah, follow your gut. Adept, apprentice. Oh man, this is so goddamn stressful. We start with adept. They really like these areas, but no. 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 Okay. We're in the area. One lock pick left. How far of a correction will it be? I don't necessarily remember exactly where we were at. Thank you, kind sir. No, no, we gotta go wow. right. Wow, seven months of breaking lock picks. Okay, all right, we're alive. Orcish scaled and it's, a, oh, is that an upgrade for Eric? Is that an upgrade? I think it, mm, possibly, <laughs> I don't know. I think so, I mean, it's light armor. He might be better in heavy armor, but this might be a little bit better. It could be good for you. It could be. It, it has a little bit more protection, but the vampire armor, the the buff that it gives me to regen is really good. Eric has light armor. Yes! All right, Eric. No problem. Now it's coming together. You are the hero of this journey, not me. Let's get going, then. If I can make enough money, no problem. How can I help? Uh. I think I'm getting like anxiety through this one because my nose keeps itching. Like, ah, ah, I'm like freaking out. We're back. We're so back. We're so fucking back, Eric. You and me, buddy. All right, throw that shit on. He wants to keep the steel plate on. Why though? He wants to keep the steel plate on. How can I help? His heavy armor is only level 15. His light armor can scale to 100. Okay. No problem. How can I help? He's not putting it on. On. It just feels right somehow. No problem. How can I help? You lead, I'll follow. We'll worry about that later. Where'd my lockpick go? Oh, huge. I love it. Dwarven Boots, that's an upgrade. Three more lockpicks. Three more lockpicks. We are once again, once again, we are in fact back. Picking up the lockpicks will be a challenge. But that's okay. Let's start with the Dwarven Boots. Boom. Take them. Throw them on. No questions asked. He puts them on. Okay, Orcish scaled. He doesn't want to wear. Whatever. Need something? No problem. How can I help? Give him back the steel plate. He looks really goofy in those boots. This outfit looks awesome. <laughs> I love Eric. He looks like an action figure. He's got moon shoes on.
All right, four lock picks now. Did I miss any locked doors at the start? Does anybody know? Unofficial patch makes him heavy armor and one-handed proficient. And I swear, you know, so there's some shit in the unofficial patch. It's like, why? Who gives a fuck? Hey, watch it. Be careful. Okay, I think we're in the clear. I just have to try and... Well, I need food. Well, the thing is, if I sleep, I lose stamina. You know, I get even more hungry. Not locked. Nope, not locked. Former shield. Former shield's not really a bad play either. We have to take this one thing at a time. We now have four lock picks. At least lock picks that we can. Hide. I'm sorry, one sec. I gotta think. I put the armor down here. Where did I put the axe? Ah, shit. Where did I put the armor? Uh oh. Where did I put the vampire armor? Ah, right there. Okay, I don't remember where I put the axe, though. Max was just a bit further. Can I feed on my follower? It just feels right somehow. Having this new life as an adventure. That'd be amazing. I remember it was here. I made a comment about how it was difficult to see. Carried it over here. I recognized, ooh, hold on a sec. Ah, wow, that is hard to see. Did anybody not see that? It blends in so well. All right, we got the ax. This is a problem. This right here is a big fucking problem. <laughs> This is gonna get Eric killed. At first I thought I'd I'll be right here. Be careful now. Wait right there. I don't think there's a way for me to disable it either. I have to use it as a weapon. Okay, I have an idea. There's gonna be some enemies up ahead, and I gotta be able to weaponize this trap, so we'll go, Eric, follow me. Let's go. One obstacle at a time. If I can make it, I'll be right here. Be careful. Now. Make Eric wait there. That was close. I almost went and engaged in that fight without a weapon. I'm going to need some help as well. Telekinesis. We could possibly telekinesis, throw the Dwemer dish, pray it hits one of the traps. Is 
spider. Not the worst possible outcome. I don't have enough magic. I can't cast flame cloak anymore. Thank you, kind sir. No. No, 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 Eric, Eric for. He's gravely injured, but he will recover in 14 days. I don't know what that does to his stats. It probably fucks him. But I have no clue what it does for his stats. And now we go back. It just feels right. I'll be right here. Be careful. Okay, I gotta be 100% honest. It feels good that, I, you know, I think we're done with the automatons. They didn't really do a whole lot. So we can probably swap him back now to paralyze. That's what we're going to want. First I thought I'd miss farming. I no problem. How can I help? He might be a little bit less of a glass cannon as well with one handed and a shield. have to find food my worry is that there's not a whole lot of food though in any of the foamer camps god damn it Should have carried my lockpicks. Is he waiting? Okay, he's still waiting. I'm gonna go grab my lockpicks. Sword is being stored on Eric. Okay, all right, I will grab it. Once again, I would like to uh, remind you when I was told, you only have to worry about one item. Mm-hmm. <laughs> sure. I'll make sure it's off of him. It just feels right somehow. No problem. How can I help? He technically can't wear the helmet anymore. At least for the next two weeks. Where the fuck did I put the lockpicks? Lockpicks are somewhere on the ground. Jesus Christ. Have I ever told you all that I hate this game? Okay, you, get the fuck out of here. The fuck out of here. Damn it. Back right leg facing east. 
Nice. How the hell do you see that? Oh, God damn it. I didn't actually pick it up because I wasn't holding down the right button. <laughs> now they're gone again. <laughs> my glasses. I can't. I can't adventure without my glasses. Oh, oh, oh. I found them. Now, hopefully, there's something in here. This actually sucks. Whole lot of nothing. Okay. Lockpicks. I guess we'll put them. Man, I don't know. I'll put the lockpicks like right here, right by that lever. Now we're tired. We're running out of time. I'm going to have to leave. Yo, <laughs> yo, you, you got to You got to give me a break game. It's getting too much. It's it's getting to be a little bit much. OK, I'll grab the lockpicks again. I'll carry them down the ramp. And yes, I will remember to tell Eric to follow me. I can already see it. Who said it? Now, there it is. There is one in there. Get Eric. Great, let's go. <laughs> Great, I'm ready for adventure. Yeah. He's so excited about adventuring, he'll walk face first into a giant spinning blade. Fucking idiot. If I drop the lockpicks off this ledge, uh, the, what now? Why is the spider got to attack now? I can't drop the lockpicks. They'll, they'll, okay. I'm going to carefully set the lockpicks <laughs> down right there. This is very stupid. We'll make sure Eric doesn't die. Grab the lockpicks again. I'm going to need a mod that just makes lockpicks bright green. Can I tell Eric to go to sleep? Is that possible? OK, unlock. Nice. We already got some push. Oh, that's just beautiful. I mean, that's the kind of performance you look for. Let's not a hey, let's not let the lockpicks get too crazy now. Lockpicks on the table. Oh, please. Oh my god, that's brutal. Probably locked. Yeah, well, good. expert. There's a dwarven helmet in there. Three lockpicks left. Was that push? Yeah. Okay, come on. It's not going to be a big correction if it's expert. We're going in the right direction. That's huge. That is just absolutely massive. It's only potions, though, no food. Extra XP. Oh, my goodness. OK, the, the, it's so sad skipping on all of this loot that is objectively amazing. Can I do a master lock in three? Okay, I'm not playing around right now. Oh my God, we got it. No, <laughs> yes, we got it. First guess, come on. What is that? What, what is that on the clock? Eight o'clock, nine o'clock. Okay, we did. We got a little tiny tick there. 
Let's try small correction left. Nope. It's already about to break. Medium connection, correction right. And the loot is ass. The loot is ass. It's not good. The loot's not good. Uh, it's trash. It's actually very bad. Not even an enchanted Elven War Axe. We already have that. Dynamo Core, is that worth it at all? No? I mean, the 100 gold is great, right? Just direct deposit into my bank account. That's nice. But everything else in here, total dog shit. I'll take the lockpick XP. That's not bad. It's not great. At least we're getting something out of this place. Now, hold on. Are chorus eggs food? No, they're alchemy. Now, wait just a ding darn second here. I think this dungeon, I think that, I think this dungeon done wants me to jump off that ledge, no? Y'all, I'm not making that commitment right now. That's too much. We're going back home. We are, uh, where are we at on the, ye, the ye old compass here? Okay, we're going to back things up. Honest to God, this dungeon might just be the end game. <laughs> this, this dungeon might just have to be the final boss of this challenge. And genuinely, we might have to part one, part two, this one. It's getting way too big. It's, it's taking such an incredible amount of time. But the actual dungeon gameplay, when I take it kind of seriously. Okay, lockpick is somewhere on this level. We'll find it. I'm going to have to throw the lockpicks, though down to the next level that'll be the next play we make when we come back we are gonna leave we're gonna get back to town we're gonna solve our food our sleep we have to we're too debuffed right now you know what honestly wait hold on it just feels right somehow having this i'll be right here be careful now I have to leave Eric here. I quite literally cannot trust Eric to walk down this slope. You guys keep saying to feed on Eric. Is that actually possible? I don't, I don't know if it is, but I'm leaving Eric in here. He's too much of a liability. I can't. No, I'm getting Eric through this dungeon, okay? That's the story arc is that we will finally successfully get we're gonna get somebody through a mission without them having to sacrifice themselves you tell him to sleep and you can feed on him oh i don't have charm I mean, that could be something that we take with us on our return trip. It feels like for this challenge, though, the dungeons have been elite. Oh, there's a forge here? What? It feels like all the, like, the main sort of we want to do this dungeon to get to this point in the game. Am I going the right way or not? I can't tell. Okay, we're going the right way. Like if we had charm, theoretically, we could just let me eat this person. Vampire seduction equals charm.
It's only up to level 10. So I don't think it would work on Eric. Hear me out. I'm going to leave my armor here. We'll pick it up when we get back to the dungeon. I'm going to take that necklace. It's worth 830. We're going to take it back to town. Hold on. Let's make sure we get our armor somewhere like right here. Leave the armor. Take the necklace. That's cash money. 830. And honestly, I'm going to hold out hope that when we get back to Dawnstar, we get another dragon to attack the town. Get the money after the dragon dies. Do a little bit of financing. Not a whole lot here. I knew I saw something. Give me that. May freeze faster without the armor. You're 100% right. That is possible. Um, we have our checkpoint at the tower that we can hit that's really close by. That might warm us up. It's gonna be risky. What was that? Thank you, kind sir. Banana Juice, I appreciate you. Thank you very much for gifting a tier one to the channel. Head straight south. Oh man, I about fell off the cliff. Oh goodness gracious. I'm already out here freezing my nips off. Check for food. Adept. Ah. Not worth it. Just move. Just move, just move, just move. What's hostile? Wolf? I ain't worried about no wolf. You think I'm scared? Uh, we do. We want to get to the tower. I think there might be food in the tower as well. Not a whole lot. I think I ate most of the food last time I was in the tower, but it could be worth it. Is Winterhold closer than Dawnstar? So Winterhold may be closer than Dawnstar, but I don't really know how to get there. And we have such a limited window of time to hopefully not die. Like, this is insane. I do like this, though. I'm not going to lie. I, all right, it feels like we're back. We started off this stream a little rocky. Okay, took some time to find our element. There's a locked door on the side of this. If I can find a lockpick, I got to go for it. Okay, we can spend some time in here. Does mead offer any food, any hunger? Restore two points of hunger. No. This is truly hardcore survival. Oh. Oh. Salmon. Salmon steak. Baked potatoes. Sam, more Sam. Okay. We maybe, we possibly are back. We got to warm up, though. Not worth sleeping here yet. More gold. Always got to take money when we can get it. I don't know what it is, but whenever we do a challenge and gold is at a premium, the game is significantly more fun. 
I feel like, you know, if we were playing vanilla or just kind of basic, like, we didn't have a ton of limitations. Gold is so easy to acquire, but when you make it significantly more valuable and fun to acquire, why did I just hear a door? It, like, it, it levels up whatever kind of challenge we're doing. Oh, I'm definitely not going down. Not letting that happen. Take some clothes against the cold. No, I'd rather have the money. <clears throat> I'd rather have the cash from the necklace itself. Joshua, I appreciate it. Thank you. I want to play Zomboid again. The game's fun. Uh, vamp armor we left behind. Horse meat, gotta take it. I have to move so quickly here, too. I don't know if it's worth carrying, you know, the necklace all the way there. Seems like a pretty big risk. We have a Stormcloak camp right here. This has to be the checkpoint that I take on the way to the dungeon. I may be able to get a horse from here as well. Sorry, sorry, Imperial Camp. Always looking for strong, capable warriors. If you think you've got what you need, oh yeah, they got horses here. We'll steal a horse on the way. This is the route we gotta take. Boom. This is why I love this shit. Okay, so we got dungeon here. Way too cold. This part of the map is miserable. Why has ninety percent of this entire playthrough, by the way, been in the coldest sections of the map? I think that's what really screwed us over. But this is the route we gotta take. We gotta hit Imperial Camp first. Boom. Horse. Alt hand, we get there in one go and we don't have to do this bullshit warmth hopping anymore. And we got food. Won't actually steal from him. Can I trade? Is this a quartermaster? Damn. That's okay. We got a little bit of a route though. We'll get back to the town. We'll sleep there. We'll get some money from this necklace. Possibly buy an upgrade for Eric? Jesus, am I already back to freezing? Maybe I should have stole the horse. Moving at like half a mile an hour. First time ever here, bagged and wrinkled, good to see you. I know, don't vampires have resist cold? Or resist frost? This is crazy, actually. When we stopped grinding, you know, jumping up and down in the fire pit, healing ourselves, I'm gonna have to actually jump in the fire pit here. Otherwise, I'm going to get hypothermia, which I think lasts like a day or two. Oh, my God. It actually happened. It fucking happened. No way, dude. <laughs> I can't. I can't with this game, man.
Yeah, you guys, you get your gold. I'm not giving you the fucking walk back. Sorry. You can blow me if you think I'm making that walk again. There you go. There's your damn gold. I'm not making that walk all the way back. Sorry. Actually kiss my ass. <laughs> Fuck that. I knew it too. As soon as I looked down, it, it was a habit. I, I was thinking of when we were grinding and we had to like jump up and down in the fire pit a bunch. Oh my God. It, it came full circle too. Of course we have to die there. Um, but I do think as much as I hate series, we may have to part one, part two, this one, because this is going to take a hundred hours. I mean, at least... To have fun with it the way I want to have fun with it, which involves trying to avoid buying the most overpowered spells that will trivialize the game. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I am having fun with this. The only thing that kind of ruins it is like moving at a snail's pace. But when we break through, when we finish some of these dungeons, it is like, oh, it is amazing. What is the end goal? I have zero idea what the end goal is. I have no idea. I, I like, I honestly, <laughs> I'm, I wish I knew. Cause a lot of times it's easier to tell the story of a challenge if I know what the, I keep forgetting about the catfish. Why'd I even buy food? I don't need it. I need sleep, not food. Get a healthy eight hours. Let me know if the, huh? Why'd I scare him so much? Ought to put on some clothes. Bound to upset some people. Need something? Hmm? Oh, I'm not that hungry. Make it a saga. I just I'm I'm not a huge fan of series. Um I like I like having a kind of cohesive narrative in one. A lot of times with a series or a part two or a part three, there's expectation that it'll be bigger and better than the one that came before it. Because, I mean, we can make a video on this one as a part one and the rest of it could totally suck. But because of that expectation that there's a part two, <laughs> part two, get married to Mercurio. Why is the general store? Oh, it's not open yet. Crying out loud, get up the stairs. What are you? Hands to yourself, sneak thief. Maybe they're injured. It's because of the implication of expectation. Maybe I com completely invent the expectation in my head. Maybe there is none. Much like the expectation of the hey, 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 hey. Take a look. Don't bring that energy in here. Okay. Oh, what if we go with brawlers? Maybe. Maybe we go with a little bit of brawler action. I can't afford them. No, I hate this game. Why are brawlers that expensive? Five to... I'm, maybe, maybe we go with brawlers. I mean, if we, pl uh, no, well, if we play it right, we're going to be very squishy regardless of where we go. I like having the magic. That's important. Oh, God, we might have to do some like really awkward item switching or something. That's kind of hard to think through. Dude, an extra 12 damage per hit, though, is so nice. We could go with the Elven Gauntlets, too. 807. We'll get a little bit of light armor XP. Oh, uh, we have to. We, we, we got to do it. I think we... Okay, here's what I think we should do. I think this is going to get us through the dungeon perfectly without a death. We go with the Elven Gauntlets... We're very, very close to a level up, okay? 
I'm gonna stay in town here. We'll leave Eric at the dungeon. We, what, we grind a little bit of restoration? Just because that's a bit more relevant than illusion at this point. We grind a little bit of restoration. We have our light armor high enough. The next perk point we get, we take Iron Fist. We're gonna be able to free up both hands to get that bonus damage. We don't have to have two pieces of light armor for it to work. Combine that with the brawlers. Combine that with the stone flesh and with Eric. Look, 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 at, look at this. We already got shit. It's lying all around town. Come here. Get my inventory. I'm going to sell you. Good morning. Take a look. All right, only nine gold. That doesn't really take us there. I didn't try to fight a fire. Okay, I was... I was trying to save myself from the ridiculous cold. Was it funny? Maybe. You be the judge. All right, I guess you gotta make some gold real quick. How do we do that without leaving town? getting a decent night's rest in Donst. Hmm... Blades, helmets, pretty much anything to suit your needs. Come back if you need steel. God might get nervous. I'm gonna go to the Quicksilver mine. Need something? I think this might be our best way of just pretty quickly making some cash. Turn them into ingots. What is that noise? Why does it sound like that? All right, we can still mine it. It does exactly what I was saying to it. It just like pops out the ore. Okay, okay, that, that it just looks wrong. The animation like breaks. Honestly, I wish this is what it was like in the normal game. When you mine, the ore just pops out like that. It looks satisfying. Look at that, and it rolls. It's like a Rube Goldberg. Your skin's as pale as the snow. You scared of You can't see my skin. Someone else's. Don't like those eyes you got. There's a bad hunger to them. Sapphire? Hold on, hold on. We dropped. There's a sapphire in there. Is it just one or was there another? Need something? That's good. Very nice. Plenty of Quicksilver. All right, give me the Sapphire to start. It's worth 400. Oh, my Lord. We might be able to afford the Brawler Mitts just with the Sapphire. This is a good little trade. I like how I showed up to the mine, outclassed everybody in terms of work ethic, Speed, determination, drive. I already got my retirement plan. I'm out of there. 401k is stuck to the brim. I quit. We'll never forget the one day we hired that random Khajiit. I have never seen somebody strip mine like that. It was a genocide of rock and stone. Insert Deep Rock Galactic reference. What do you need? Take a look. 674 we're All not right. quite there yet DRG Survivor is better than... No, it's not. I haven't even played it. No, it's not. Yes. 
next time you might want to get dressed before leaving the house. Uh, next time you might want to actually practice your work before showing up here and getting yourself embarrassed by a rookie. I work in the mine just like everyone else. Near the mine? I know there's one more ore vein up there. I won't bother with it. I don't think this is going to get us the money, though. Sorry, gotta run. It's a quick silver mine. Why are they all my... Th thank you. That is... That's what I'm saying. Well, <laughs> I, didn't have, I haven't said that yet, but I would. Thunderboog, thank you for the prime. How you doing? How's your day? What is today? Is today Wednesday? Or is today Tuesday? Seems like no looking to protect yourself or deal some damage. 812? Speech in mm. <laughs> We're almost there. Okay, let's get that next restoration level real quick. I will not die this time. Ah oh, crap, I'm in the middle of the sun. My magic won't regen. I need like a handful more coins. Do I have the tower stone back yet? Ah, I do. Nice. Okay, so we'll save the tower stone. Thank you, kind sir. Keep on jobbing. T-Bone, good to see you again. I will keep on keeping on. Let's grab the pickaxe back. Or a free one. I don't know why I bought a pickaxe. Let's get a little bit more gold while we're in here. Or iron. We can turn the iron into gold. What's the gold for? We're going to try and buy a pair of the boxing gloves or the brawlers. I think it could be really useful. Yeah, that actually that makes it look like uh, maybe not Minecraft, but seven days to die mining. That's what this looks like. But my 3D skeleton underneath is trying to do the vanilla animation. So it looks real goofy. Got a garnet? Garnet might be worth making the trip. There's got to be at least one person out there who's going to be absolutely thrilled to see me just hitting the rock instead of doing the full animation. Gotta be. Iron ore. Ore, ore. Ore. Can you craft anything with just iron? Yes. I don't think you can. Think you need leather strips for any of the iron recipes? Uh oh. The hell did the iron go on this one? Lost cause? Thank you, kind sir. Who who's that? Who's being nice? Elegant Chimp, thank you for the tier one. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Also, I guess I never got my question answered or I wasn't, I didn't look at chat in time. Was it, uh, is it, is it, is it Wednesday? It's Wednesday. Do I have transmute? 
I don't. Well, do I? I don't. I guess I wrote off transmute early on, but it'd be really nice to have. We could make gold rings, right? Or we could just transmute to silver. Yeah, silver's a one ingredient craft. So is gold. Guess it's time to give something back. Oh, no worries. You don't have to. It is, of course, very appreciated. That's what I was thinking, Wombito. I looked at it and said I didn't want to overload my spellbook and make it confusing. You're you're only gonna buy the iron ore for what? All right then. What? Is, oh wait 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 wait. I could probably go to the mine owner and get a better deal on the iron ore. These dreams are real, I tell. Can't sleep well, no matter. Okay, maybe not. Did my keyboard die? My keyboard is dead. My keyboard died. Help! Just one of the Mom! No, I, one, one sec. Yes. Yeah. I can fix this. I know what I'm doing. I'm uh. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Yes. Huh? <clears throat> yeah, I'm a bit of an engineer. I'm really good at fixing tech. Uh, this is what we call a uh, USB-C plug. By connecting the uh, designated input into the USB power supply on the other side of my desk. We can we can reroute the wire through connected to the keyboard. What keyboard do you use? I've been using the same keyboard for five years. It is a wireless dog shit Logitech. Uh, it's not a gamer keyboard. It's got flat keys. They don't really click or make a whole lot of noise. Um, honestly, I could probably do with cleaning this thing a little bit. Probably should. Uh, but at least since it's a flat keyboard, it's very easy to clean. It's not, uh, you know, it doesn't have deep keys and grooves with like a bunch of gamer gunk getting stuck up in there. Go cost your fancy magic These dreams are real, I tell you. are wrong to come real. here, stranger. No rest in Dawnstar. Here we go. Iron ore to sell. Also, weird vibes, Betild. I'll buy everything you've dug up. 10 or 70 gold? Now. It's probably a better deal than we get for the bars. Okay, let's get our boxing gloves. Ew, ew, ew. My cords are all in awkward places. What do you need? Take a look. Yeah, we're going to go Elvin. Mm -hmm. Until next time. Ah, oh, my hands are gonna. Whoa! Oh, uh, uh, do I like the look? What do you need? Uh, I don't know if I like the look. I mean, they look kind of chunky. Yes. I don't know if I like the. Are they cool or are they not? I can't really tell. I mean, they, yeah, you know what? Okay, okay, you know what? There's some weight to them, and I kind of like it. I kind of like it. They, they, look, they look like real chunky brawlers. You know, like if you hit someone in the face with this, that's going to hurt like shit. So I think I'm okay with it. Also, it's just something different to look at visually. I like it. All right, let's get one level of restoration. We level up and we get our boxing perk.
close am I? Like zero XP, just straight up none. We've gotten no restoration XP since uh, since all that nonsense. Okay, I guess I'll just I'll try and level up sneak. That might be the best one to go for. I mean, restoration, I have no clue what's going on with it. Maybe, might be bugged? Maybe not? Come on in. Let me know if you need anything. Or take a seat by the fire and I'll send someone over. No more shield? Well, what we could do... And this is kind of tough to think about. We have to have a combination right now of the vampire armor, the shield, maybe, potentially, I don't know. Didn't watch all day, now I come back here to more grinding. Well, honestly, I got no clue what we're gonna do. <laughs> like, I have no idea what we're gonna do. It feels like we're just trying different little strategies to try and make something work really well or make something stick. I gotta make sure we're at least getting sneak XP. So where we're at right now, if, if you have no clue what's going on, we're trying to clear out the dungeon off tanned. It's a Dwemer dungeon. We got through all the automaton section of it without dying and without our follower, Eric, dying. We left Eric in the dungeon to hold down the fort because there's a trap. I do not trust him getting past. We're not getting XP. Fuck. Yes. Am I just not getting any XP at all? So right now what we're doing is we came all the way back to town because we were so low on food, sleep, all that stuff. Came back to Dawnstar on foot, barely made it, barely survived. I I did get a speech level recently. Yeah, I'm going to quick save, quick load. Feels like I'm just not getting XP. There's Sneak. I have to put my fingers on my monitor right now <laughs> to see if it's moved at all. Telekinesis. Oh, oh, I didn't think of telekinesis. That's a great idea. I keep forgetting. We've gotten some good XP from Telly. But like, still no sneak. Alteration is just about at 64. I think that got XP. There it is. There's our level. Real quick before they close up shop, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna buy some food. Are you joking? Nice, free rent, love it. We have 79 gold left, beautiful. Let's buy our food so that we leave with the utmost fulfillment in our belly get out of the way we're gonna be fully well rested we'll leave at 10 p.m we got our level up it's all coming together and then we are gonna get through this dungeon flawless i'm not fucking losing i'm kind of okay on magicka although if we're gonna go with the fists we gotta think about this if we're gonna go with punching we lose our magicka regen Okay, we also have less armor, so we might need health. If we take stamina, that means our punching does extra damage because of the perk that we're about to take. I don't, honestly, it doesn't feel like we can go wrong with either. We could go with health. What, what do y'all think? This is a tough one. Paul, let's, let's just go off general vibes. I don't know if 10 points of stamina is going to give us what's 5% of 10. 
You know, we'd have to level up stamina twice to even get one bonus damage from the perk we take. Shanfrey, our goal right now is to co uh, we want to finish up off tanned. That's that's uh, that's our short term goal is just to clear that dungeon. My personal goal, I want to get through it without dying. Stam no health, yes, health to tank more. Lots of health in there. More damage, less health lost, less magicka needed. Follow your heart. My heart says health. We're gonna go health. That's just the gut gut instinct tells me health. Because if we have to in the middle of the fight, if I'm really that desperate for magic, I can separate from the fight and hopefully throw on my vampire armor so it regens a lot faster. And then we go, we get our light armor perk where we at right here. We're also going to be getting light armor XP now from punching things. Can't sleep on that benefit. Eat the food. Put on some damn clothes already. Frost took my head. Brawler gauntlets on. What's the hurry? I work in the hey, watch it. Yeah, it's gaming time. Get out of the way. It's about to be assault time if none of you get out of the way. Hmm. Health, no Why shit. I love the blunt success. honesty. Okay. Now we have a, below, a way more efficient route of getting there this time. Uh, find some way to kind of cheese this hill. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's right. I, I kind of low-key cheated and uh, I don't have the Empire, the Imperial camp marked on my map. I can see it on the compass, though. So Imperial camp, quick thing of warmth. Holy shit, someone is driving a really loud car right now. Who does that, by the way? Um... I've always wondered, with the people that have incredibly loud cars, you know, the, you know, the cars that sound like a dying, you know, deer, like after a deer has been shot by a 762 round in the wilderness and it's laying on the ground, you know, it kind of sounds like one of those cars. It's not a sports car. OK, it's a car that's been like modified to be incredibly loud. I've always wondered how small the penis of of the driver is. I don't really, I'm not worried too much about the car. My first, oh, I had a, I had a messed up muffler. When I was in high school, I hit a speed bump. They put in these speed bumps on one of the roads by my house and I was delivering for Jimmy John's, okay? I got a little excited, so I hit the speed bump going too quickly and it fucked up my muffler. So the car was really, really loud. Not like the small penis kind of loud car. Oh, nice. Okay, we can sleep here if needed. We'll hang out on the fire. Let's warm up. Stay sharp. Give ourselves a checkpoint here. What we're going to do is we're going to steal their horse. Right there. I tuned back in at a weird time. Maybe. Bigger than yours. Oh, 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 we found the loud car guy. <laughs> we found we found a loud car guy. What do you want? Hmm? I'm just playing. The kind of car you have has no effect on your anatomical uh, makeup. All right, let's go. Come on, horsey. We got to go save Eric. And what's wonderful about this is that the horse will return to its natural habitat of that camp. It'll just go right back there. So then even on our return trip, we go back to the camp, we steal the horse, quickly get to Dawnstar. This is a great skip though. We don't have to hide out in the tower for an extra five minutes every time. We have to get Eric through this dungeon. 
I'm so locked in. I'm so dedicated. Also because now, narratively, I feel like ending the journey with the successful survival of one of the followers. I, I feel like that's a good Thank narrative you, arc if we choose to kind of... How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? You know what's always driven me crazy about that tongue twister, or so it's called? It's not really even a tongue twister. It's easy to say. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? See? No problem. Automatic. I'm crazy. <laughs> I was about to try and... I was like, oh, please, have a funny song play after... After saying a tongue twister, just to prove how... I don't know. Just to prove how linguist... See, now that's a tongue twister. Linguistically efficient, I can be. Alright, the Dawn Guard is out here chasing me. Zero interest in dying to them at all. I can't wait to go back into this dungeon and for some fucked reason, Eric has teleported and now he's standing directly on top of a trap. No, we're gonna do this. I, I'm, I'm nervous. All right, I feel a little bit rusty. Here's, we gotta, we gotta kind of have our game plan figured out. Honestly, we combine flame cloak with the punching gloves. That's not going to be too bad at all. We just have to make sure though that if we are going to punch people, we free up both hands. That's the only way we get the bonus. And if it's Falmer, man, if it's Falmer, it's going to get a little chaotic. There might be a few rooms depending on how many enemies there are. We tell Eric to hang back a little bit. Got to get out of this cave so we can warm up. Oh. Good thing I placed that there to just accidentally kick it. Because we might have to in the middle of the fight. All right, let's role play a little bit. We got to get our reps in. Let's get in. Let's warm up. We got to role play a bit, right? So let's say we're in the middle of a fight. Okay. Flame cloak, we just threw it on. So now we're gonna switch and try to get our bonus damage. We got both hands out. We punch, we punch, we punch, we punch. Now let's say I fell back. I went healing hands. Eric was in a lot of trouble. Boom, let's say my magic is out. Magic is gone. I can get off one, two, let's go a couple punches. Now we need to in the middle of the fight. We need to throw that on. It's equipped, our magic starts regenning. If we're in that moment, we can really only focus on casting, you know, spells that will help us immediately because I'm likely going to at some point during the fight need to return. Uh, no. OK. I think it's better if we switch back to the royal armor. We just keep that on the rest of the fight. We have to simplify it a little bit. I think in an emergency, we swap to the armor to get our magic back because we're still our punching will do less damage but swapping back to the gloves after throwing on the armor i don't know if that's worth it also we cannot forget where we have our lock picks we're going to be juggling lock picks armor and gloves throughout the dungeon Oh crap, we have to get this through. Getting through the loading screens is gonna suck. It's like a game of leapfrog.
I don't know if you all are gambling on anything right now, but... Oh, okay. I guess it looks like you are. I think gambling... Straight up on whether or not we get through this, both me and Eric alive. The gamble ends as soon as the Tarj of the Blooded is picked up or I die. Oh, Eric, I is so good to see you. Good day, friend. Keeping well. So, one thing that I feel like we might have missed out on. It would have cost me a lot of gold. But I think I should have waited two weeks in Dawnstar. As dumb as that sounds, I think I should have waited two weeks in Dawnstar till his injury was gone. If anything. Yeah, that does make me a bit nervous. But okay, Eric. You and me till the end, buddy. Just feels right. Great. Let's go. Just feels right. My number one hope is that we can find him a shield sometime soon. It'd be great if we could pull like a dwarven shield with an enchantment would just be banging. That's why we have to keep those lockpicks though. If I remember where I put them. Crap, I should have put the lockpicks on the table. I think I put them out here. Yeah, I put the lockpicks here, that was dumb. Oh, got him. Okay, we got the lockpicks here. If I drop them straight down... Someone's in combat, somebody wants to fight. Those lockpicks might have bounced. Uh-oh. Oh, no, 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 do not fall. Oh my god, the armor. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay, I can see the armor. <laughs> it's a little bit far down there, but I can see it. There's a red dot, though. Somebody already wants to fight us. Yeah, it's a Falmer. And it's a Skulker. Yikes. Oh, my gosh. It's only one. So I'm going to go. Drop down. Okay. All right. Fall damage did not kill Eric. Lockpicks. Oh my god, we got them. The lockpicks made the landing. Okay, we transferred the lockpicks down to the next level. They're going to be right... Where's the easiest place to put them? I don't want them to get kicked over, so we're going to put them right next to this little guy. Anything on you? No food, no nothing. Healing pot. Oh, shoot. Okay, good catch, Eric. Let's see what damage we got here. Please don't fall. Is he gonna fall? I'm afraid to move. just feels right somehow. I'll be right here. Be careful. Shit. Okay, Falmer. We just have to think about this. Putrefy could be useful if it works. All of this is dependent, though, on whether or not an arrow will kill me in one hit. And we go there, we go Putrefy. We go Flame Cloak. Now I'm feeling a little bit better. Is Stone Flesh going to be able to eat one shot? I think I would rather wait until I have 
That's what we're going to do. We're going to wait until we get Unrelenting Force back, free up our hands for punching. Huge. Okay. No, Eric's down. He fell. He fell. Time out. Sorry, one sec. We're gonna wait here for a sec. Really? Sis, you gotta show up right fucking now with the garage and the background noise and everything. We're stressed! Eric might be dead! Uh, okay, okay, okay. All it said was Eric needs some help. There's a 25% chance he's dead. He's probably dead. Dude, if he's dead because he fell and got caught on a little ledge, I'll be really, really disappointed. Like, that would be such a bummer. I might consider, I would actually consider reloading. <laughs> oh, fun. Very fun. I still have my armor. They missed. Two down. Eric? Please be alive. Please just don't be dead. Don't be dead. Falmer, Falmer Skulker, that's going to hit pretty hard. Can I dodge the arrow? I have very limited armor left. Missed? Okay, huge. We need to fall back. I need unrelenting force. Flame cloak, we got to get it back. Got our punching. I can eat one. Huge. Confirmed. We can eat one arrow from a skulker. That's actually big news. I got no clue what the hell Eric is up to. God, I hope he's not dead. I'm going to fall back, though. This is where our plan starts to develop. Where's the armor? Oh, no, no. Did the armor get knocked off? I think someone might have knocked the armor off the ledge. It might have fallen even further. Come on, gosh. Better not be getting a disease. Someone might have kicked the armor off. Oh no, I might have shouted it off. Okay, okay, all right, all right. Skulker, we know, no, we cannot eat one. We have to have stone flesh. And we're about to lose flame cloak, I believe. Yeah, flame cloak is gone now. Although I know I can eat one from the skulker and we have a shout stun. Got him. Okay, another one down. Huge. No way. <laughs> my, both my Eric and my armor are somewhere at the bottom of this giant chasm. We're doing pretty well so far, though. There's the armor! Trip! We're good. We're good. We're good. Everybody relax. I don't necessarily need the armor right now, but holy crap, I can't believe we still have it. There's like five Falmer in this room. Been in there before. Oh my god, he's in the middle of fighting right now. He's all the way at the bot. Oh, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Oh 
Oh. My. God. Eric has been at the bottom of the pit, obliterating Oh my god, this is insanity! He's got an archer just wide of him. This is totally cheating just because it's surveillance. I don't care. Where am I? I'm one level up. The game wants me to go to... The game wants... The game wants me to go through a loading screen to get down to him. I am here. This is me. Don't ask why I don't have arms. He's only got one Falmer left. Can he kill them? Should we watch Eric try to win this fight or do we try to jump and save him? We can probably jump to this building here. God, it's kind of a risk going from that roof. I mean, maybe we go from that roof to this roof. R roof to pipe. This is too much. This is too much. This is way too much. No, not that one, not that one, not that one. Not that one. Eric! I'm coming. I'm coming, Eric. Missed. He paralyzed. He paralyzed. How in the fuck are you alive? Mwah, mwah, mwah. Kiss me. Kiss me, you Nordic bastard. You're beautiful. Oh my god, okay, okay, now. Reel it in. Reel it in. He is a stud. I cannot believe he fell. Oh, like, how did he fall the whole way? I mean, blessing in disguise? He took out Frostbite Spider. Skulker. Falmer. Regular. Now, those aren't the most impressive kills on the planet, but he lived. He had to have... It, paralyzation, he had to have gotten them a few times. That's massive. This axe is huge. Having this new life is an adventure. No problem. How can I help? Unbelievable that that... Like, I just can't believe that happened. That that took place. Unfortunately, my armor is gone. That's a problem. The armor being gone is a big issue because... Flame Cloak is expensive. If we have to cast Stone Flesh again, if a fight drags on, that's expensive. We're not going to just see Falmer Skulkers. We're going to run into the mages, right? I mean, we're not playing Rookie Ball. Great. Let's go. Oh, I, I wanted to check. No how much charge? No Look how much charge he has left in this thing, though. This thing might last the entire dungeon. We'll see, though. <laughs> I wish I could poison his sword. Okay, well, now we have to take this on in the reverse fashion. We have to go bottom up. Trap. This new arm. I'll be right here. Be careful now. Thanks, Eric. I appreciate it. I actually really love that he wants me to be careful. It means he cares. Cathedral. I'm going to leave him behind and scout the cathedral. We need intel. We charge in blind, we die. However, 
If I get caught, they will follow me to the next room. Traps all over the place. I'm already hungry again, man. This fucking game, dude. <laughs> Defender. What does Defender do? Blocking absorbs... Damn. It'd be nice to have if I was using shield. Okay, swinging. Might be able to use that to my advantage. That's just big time. That's big time. I mean, that's time and place showing up. Not just collecting a paycheck, that's showing up and performing. Okay. All right, we got a big room of enemies in here. I think the strategy, I think I know what the strategy is here. I think we get Eric posted up in this room. So he's kind of out of the fight. It's gonna give us an opportunity to do a trap play. And that's our opening move. Trap play to open the fight. The trap goes off. Hopefully the enemies that survive the trap push past the trap. That's what everything comes down to. If we have Eric posted up in here and he's not aggroed until they kind of come to this meeting point here, then we have them. Then we absolutely have them. Especially, it, it depends on like the numbers that they have, how many of them come into the hallway. But if we get to that point, Can you put Flame Cloak on Akato's recital? Uh, that's a good call. I think I need to do that again. I've gotten a little bit more comfortable with Flame Cloak. I forgot that we took it off. I'm gonna put Flame Cloak back on Akato's. That's a great call. So now we're storing Flame Cloak automatically. We get it for free at the beginning of a fight. That's all that does is give us a huge buff. That's good. Can't use Fracture. I'm not sure where I got that one. Death Cloud, Toxic Explosion to a target location that deals 12 disease damage to non-mechanical... That's good. Oh my gosh. And I'm forgetting about Strangulation. That's a really powerful spell and I haven't used it once. Coax both magical and mortal energies from your hapless opponent. Embrace of shadows, it's pretty good. Although I don't know, I kind of like sticking with the boxing, you know? I like sticking with the boxing versus strangulation. But we paid for it, might as well use it, and it's fairly powerful. It doesn't feel... It feels right, though, going through it with the boxing gloves. Let's favorite this one, Embrace of Shadows. And potentially open the fight, maybe with a sneak play? Gotta have unrelenting force on at all times, just in case I get scared and cast it. Every single room in this dungeon is like its own puzzle. Tree rings. Good call. Who said tree rings? You're a legend. Good fucking call. Tree rings. Throw that into our Akados mix. So then at the beginning of combat, we're going to get both a health buff and extreme health buff. It's only temporary. Flame Cloak, 
St okay, okay, all right. Dad, you cooked. I gotta give you that one. That's that's sick. Embrace of shadows. Looks like it's a spell. These walking devices are strange. Wait, that's a Kato still. No, embrace of shadows is a power. Got it. What? It just feels right somehow. Great. Let's go. We're gonna open up with a stealth putrefy play. Soften them up a little bit. And we're going to take this very methodically, very slowly, as we try to lead them back into this room. At first, I thought I'd miss Farming. I'll be right here. Be careful now. We keep him back here for the surprise ambush. I will jump in front of this trap to die in Eric's place if it comes down to that. Better not be drawn back there. Got to get a better view of what's in this room, too. Archer, mage, we want to. OK, so. Of these two. This one on the right is the most powerful uh, of of these two. This one is the more powerful by far. Thank you, kind. So sir. they have to go down. Is it worth it to get rid of his little buddy if he gets into the hallway too? He's probably going to be using a staff that shoots out lightning bolts. If he gets into the hallway. Is he going to be stuck at the far end trying to shoot us, thus bringing Eric into the trap? Thank you, kind sir. That's what I wonder about. We could do the cloud. You know what? And maybe, maybe we do as a single cast to open up combat. Maybe we start. Thank you, kind sir. <sighs> maybe we start with death cloud. It looks like we could hit both. It's going to cost 53. That's not an incredibly expensive spell to throw out. Also, because we're going to get flame cloak, tree rings, all that right away. Ooh, we could eat a few hits at the start of combat. We might be able to keep Eric in that back room. I think we can kill them both right now, and I'm going to go for it. Jabba, well, thank you very much for 19 months. Good to see you. How are you? Saracen, thank you for the prime. That's not an action tune. There we go. That's one of my favorites. Here we go. We have Death Cloud on. Death Cloud, right, Putrefy, left. Can they stack? Let's see. Looks like we got him with it, and it looks like he's just Falmer. He's nothing more than that, but he's gonna have magic. All those buffs, look at that, boom. All of them on at one time, just to open up the fight. All right, mage down. There we go. Two down. Finally, I get restoration XP. Took you long enough. Now, hold on. Time out. Time out. Why, why is it so quiet? That's it? I thought there'd be a little bit more than just two. We're still going to scout ahead of Eric. Getting him through that trap is a puzzle in and of itself. So let's just go through this room real quick without him. Make sure we get anything good. Couple of lock picks. We like having lock picks. We just have to know where they're at at all times. Okay. I'm going to put them right by this little handle. That's easy to remember. I'm not sure. <laughs> okay. So we go up here. It's definitely there's going to be some level two type shit. Night. Oh, Skeever. Okay, we're good. 
Don't give me a disease. I'll cry. Okay, we're good. We're good. I'm just... Nope, not wasting the tower. Not wasting the tower. I'll go get lockpicks. God, I love finding lockpicks. Hey, what's that? Hey, I don't like that. I don't like that. What's that turret doing up there? There's got to be a way to fire it off. There's also a reason for firing it off. So I double don't like that. I'm not sure where the second of the two lockpicks went, but it's only a novice. Christ. I can't sprint with the lockpick or I'll drop it. Do you get XP from the Akato's cast? You do. <clears throat> That's part of what makes it so good. That doesn't break that quickly. Who changed the rules? By... By what metric? I don't know if I've ever been fucked like that. I didn't enjoy it. I don't know why I would use tower there. See, that's just greed. Greed and stupidity. Whenever they meet up... Whenever they collab, it just always goes wrong. Greed and stupidity. You ever see them hanging out in the same place? Run. Nothing is going to go well. Okay, I knew it. Okay, so we do. We have a big boy. Which means we get no paralysis on them. Okay, all right, all right, they're in. They are in the battle now. Got it? How do you activate this? Where is it activated from? Is there... Up top here or up top the way I... We got a haul ass, go! Great. Are you tired? I'm tired. Oh, he's tired, pussy. Like, I don't think any of my spells can hurt this thing. Yeah, resisted. He's going to be pissed. He's at least going to be behind this fence. We have that going for us. His giant steam, his his shout, that's going to kill us right away. Oh my god, there's another locked chest there. And it's Apprentice and I wasted the tower on a novice. Mmm. Ah. Don't you love when the consequences of your actions greet you swiftly? You know, they don't show up late to the party or nothing. They're there on time. They're actually quite excited to show up and make you look like a dumbass. Okay, we can get some damage. Apologies in advance to everybody who thought this would be a cool solution. But, uh, no. Nope. I'm gonna be killing this guy. Very slowly. And very boringly. These gloves do look kind of cool when they're in lightning mode. Look like I got some kind of eagle on my arm. 
right? No, I can't get that close to the gate. His AI might try and blow steam. In fact, he may still try to blow steam. I will kill him. Death by a thousand Applebee's tasers. There's just no way. I mean... Theoretically, I could do decent damage if I punched him. It's just not worth the risk of pushing that gate. I want to get through this dungeon flawlessly. Flawlessly. This is the equivalent of tickling someone to death. Now, it's like the equivalent of... Uh, it's like water torture, or I don't know. If you wanted to slowly kill somebody by dropping a spoon on top of their head from a relatively low height, uh, can he hit that angle? I'm getting stupid here. That was scary. He just looks, he does look a little annoyed. Like he's like, ah, come on, let me through. I'm like dragging my feet on my ground. Like you guys can't even see it. Hey, you know what? He's getting his steps in. feet cam so quick story time I don't know what do you want to know about now Skyrim's version of the let me in meme well that was earlier we handled that earlier trying to get through a fence Have you given your favorite frozen pizza opinions yet? Um, I like Mama Bassa. Actually, I think that's my favorite frozen pizza. They got a, uh, they got a garlic one. It's like garlic, onion, ground beef. Doesn't really have a whole lot of sauce, but I just really like it. Frozen what? Pizza? Frozen za? Oh, they also got the hot mama. That one's pretty good. I like the garlic one a little bit better, but it's a very unique frozen pizza. I would love to have an epic showdown with this guy, by the way. I don't know why the word him appears like that. Is, is that on our, uh, what's it called? Um, is that on like our seven TV thing? Is there any way we can like disable that one? <laughs> For comedic purpose, I hope he clips through. I would cry. I think that would be the moment where I just quit. God, I love video games. 
Kita Alpfand lift. Alftand? That's so hard to say. Alright, now problem number two is getting Eric through the trap room without him getting his dumb ass killed. I think I know what we could do though. Hear me out. I think this is how we get him through. It just feels right somehow. Having this new life. What do you need? What do you need? Okay, got it. Okay. <laughs> we'll just move him around like a chess piece. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Okay, got it. Fuck yeah, man. First, that was sick, Eric. Something. Great, let's go. All right, Eric, you and me till the end. Damn, I'm already starving again. This sucks. They gotta have. Maybe I missed it. Do they have any food? Just a little something, come on. A little something for me to nibble on. Maybe a flank steak. Some burnt ends. Ooh, bar, that sounds good. Oh, <laughs> actually, yeah. Damn, I'm making myself hungry now. Oh, we had this old barbecue place in Iowa City. So good. It was crazy. Crazy good mac and cheese and burnt end sandwich. Oh. God. Anyway, enough about that. All right, I can't start thinking about. Damn, I start thinking about barbecue. It's gonna be the end of this stream in five seconds. I am aware that I am hungry. I'm going back for the lockpicks. Oh right. crap! I can't. This new life is an I forgot we fell down the entire chasm. Stella, let's just get no, not this. Okay, enchanted sword on the left. Of course you want me to leave. Just waiting for me to turn my back. So you can have all the glory for yourself. Huh? Sanctified iron mace. <gasps> Dwarven shield. That's a huge upgrade for Eric. We just gotta get him through this fight. All of our stuff activated. They're going to fight each other, which means they're a bit distracted. Okay, they didn't hit as hard, and I'm lucky that that fireball missed. But I think I need to reevaluate just a tad here. We got our buffs. She obviously is attacking him at the same time as we do. I think I continue just pushing and fighting him. Okay, wait, is that the shield? Oh my god, wait, that's the shield! No, no way, we're there? Come on, come on, come on, we're almost there. Where's Eric? Oh wait, I think that's Eric's axe on my screen. <laughs> He's covering half the screen. He's so excited to fight. Let's go, Eric. Yeah. Kick ass. Oh my god. I cannot believe I just let that go through. Oh, finally. Finally. Oh, that was a long day. Honestly, a little bit of an underwhelming battle to finally get this, but hold on. We have some good upgrades here for you, Eric. Let's start with the shield. First, I thought I'd miss farming. No problem. How can I help? Let's go shield. Take it. There you go. Nice little upgrade there. Throw that piece of garbage away. Let's get going then. Steel plate. You already have that. I mean, this is mine. Obviously. We've got steel plate boots. No, his are better. Oh, do I? I really don't want to get rid of my. <gasps> Wait a minute. Hey, you. Oh, you have shitty gloves on. Here, you're taking these. No, 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 no. This is an upgrade. This counts. No problem. He's allowed to keep the gloves as an upgrade by rule. Oh, he didn't put them on. <laughs> oh, no. 
Come on, you gotta put him on, please. I don't think he'll wear any light armor. You lead, I'll follow. Okay, fine, we can leave that behind. I take the targe. Anything else in here? Nothing. You lack the required item, no clue what I need. Probably a dynamo. Are the gloves not better than your shield? Well, I feel like if we take Targe of the Blooded and we combine this with blocking more damage, power bashing, and the different kinds of abilities we can get with blocking, healing gives us back stamina, which means we can keep blocking, which means we can keep winning. I can't believe this guy's alive. After falling down that pit, I can't believe he made it. And in a way, he almost helped me speed run the dungeon. Thank you, kind sir. Boss dog, thank you for 16 months. Good to see you. How are you? Let me just get my boy home. Let me get Eric back to safety. Okay, that hits really hard. Oh shit, I'm out of magic. And then Eric comes in. And he stuns him. Oh, and he's out. He's down for the count. Fuck him up, Eric. Beat his ass. Get his ass. Okay, now we're getting it's it's coming together a little bit. We got some action going now. We have, you know, pretty much unlimited bashing with the shield. Combine that with healing that gives us our stamina back. We're out of Magicka now, just because, you know, being a vampire kind of sucks. Do Believers? Yeah, Believers already won. You missed the gloves? I wish Eric would wear them. I wonder where we go with things now, though. I mean, we could probably... We could probably pass off that dungeon as a finale. It was really epic. Eric falling all the way down to the bottom of the pit. That was insane. I don't really know, though. Finish Dawn Guard. Come on, Eric, what are you doing? What are you standing over there for? Get your head out of your ass. Let's move. We got to wait. Can you marry Eric? You know what? what let's do that. Whoa! Oh, no, no, wait, no, no. Wait, I was just professing my love. OK, all right, all right, it's OK. We can get through this. I forgot they're going to be really pissed off that we took their horse. I swear to God, if Eric doesn't make it out of this, I think we can do it, though. I've got some magic back, but I have no stamina. First things first, 
We got oh my god. Not a bad ending. Not a, not a bad ending at all. <laughs> that's not that's not a bad ending. That's not I I like to end terribly. I love a bad ending. <laughs> it would have been. I mean, it's it, it's very fitting. It's like. Oh, you know, maybe you're right. Maybe we do marry Eric. Uh, I, 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 I think this challenge though is gonna take you know just so long that it's good to do. I don't like us. I don't like part ones and part twos. I mean, we would do no more than two. But I think I got to move on from this one for a little bit. Give me one sec here. Um, I appreciate everybody hanging out. I'm... I'm trying to think. I mean, this was this is a really fun challenge and I really, really like it. The unfortunate part about it is that about 60 percent of it sucks. I know we didn't even get to use the targe. About 60 percent of it sucks. The challenge itself. Uh, I mean, we but also at the same time, part of the fun is you know, we're in these shitty parts of the map that suck to traverse and we have no clothes, so we're freezing. So part of the fun, at least for me, is thinking through, OK. What's the best route we can take from this place to get to this place, you know, maybe make that a little bit more unbearable. We started stealing horses. We found the little Imperial camp so we could warm up halfway through the drama of all the followers going down and whatnot. That'll be fun. And it could be a fun way to sort of end it and say, all right, we have these skills, we have some progress, we're kind of starting to put together a decent little come, build, sir. but we're still a bit directionless. Paige, you've been a VOD watcher for a bit, haven't gotten the chance to send thanks for the good vibes. Oh, Dapa, no problem at all. I appreciate it. Thank you very much for the, what, what is that, five months? Thank you for the five months. Just don't do what we did with Turkey Steak and rush into tough content after a long break from the character. That is true. That is exactly what got Turkey Stick killed. I took like a week off and rushed into a tough dungeon. At the beginning of the stream, I said you always sound nasally. I've even made jokes that I sound nasally before, I'm pretty sure. Thank you, kind sir. What if it just becomes the search for the best follower? I mean, I was hoping that we'd be able to have a little bit more follower action with more followers dying. Because I think that's a very fun sort of way to segment out a video. Like, how's the next follower going to die? What did we figure out during our run before the next follower died? Now finish the main story with one slot. We'll have to see. I'm, I'm honestly not 100% sure. We'll, we'll have to see. Um... Oh, sweet. Snam's live. We haven't raided Snam in a while. I'm going to send you guys over to Snam. He's doing some Halo achievement challenge thing. He's always doing something like that. Thank you all for hanging out. We will have a new challenge very, very soon. We might do like two, maybe three Kingdom Come streams. Probably two Kingdom Come streams to pick up where we were last at in that game. I want to play that game again soon. Appreciate y'all. We'll talk soon. Uh, that's all I got. Brett, thank you for the prime, by the way. Sorry, I missed that. Or did I? Did I not miss that? Maybe I did. Either way, thank you.
Thank you all. Appreciate y'all. We'll talk soon.